Hello and howdy, everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? Oh my god, I... Before we get started, it's not gonna be long, but... I got some stuff! Um, which is cool. Take a sip of my tea. My tea latte. Um, anyways. So first, I bought a bunch of games, of course. Um, because I have issues. Uh, but, I mean, we gotta get them for the collection sooner or later anyways, I guess. It's just, my box really doesn't have any room for new games, so I really need to stop. But, whatever, it's fine. It was, these were a late birthday gift from Noodle. So, they're, they're fine. They, they count. Um, and while I was at the game store, the owner was kind enough to give me a eye toy. He just gave it to me for free. Um, cause they had a bunch down there and I just offhandedly mentioned that I needed one still. So he was like, I have a bunch, you can just have one. And I was like, sick, cool. So, uh, yeah, there's that now, which will open up a couple more games just for us to play in general. Cause now I own an eye toy. Um, and then it might be a little while, we'll see. But these games will be getting added to the list here soon. I got garbage in the way here. I got Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance, the original one. I don't know if we want to play that one on stream or not. That's up to y'all, I guess, whether we want to do that one or the PS2 one or both or whatever. I just got it because, one, I love Kingdom Hearts, and two, I want to play this copy specifically because I've never played the original one, at least not more than like the first couple of minutes of it. So yeah, so I got that. Got to get that added still. And then, since he said he would give me the iToy, I went ahead and picked up iToy Play. Very cool, I know. Um, iToy Play 2, also very cool. These are like, for anybody who doesn't know what the iToy is, these are like pre-connect games, basically, right? Like, they're, they're connect style games. Your body is the controller, but they were a thing before the Kinect was ever made for the Xbox. So it's like the, the predecessor to it. Uh, I got a couple Crash games. Crash and the Wrath of Cortex. Uh, pick that up. Uh, it's, I don't know. It's a Crash game. Whatever. Crash Nitro Kart. Um, I don't have Nitro Kart, right? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't. I know I have a Crash Racing game, but I'm pretty sure it's not Nitro Kart. Anyways, whatever. It's fine. We got that. We got... <laughs> <laughs> Our first fishing game, Kokoto Fishing Master. Um, a gentleman down there is another PS2 game collector. Um, and he just mentioned this one specifically as a game that he doesn't see pop up very often for sale. It's not expensive or anything. I think this game was only like $8, something along those lines. I don't remember. But he said like he doesn't see that one pop up very often in his uh, past few years of collecting. So I was like, ah, screw it. I was actually looking at it last time I was there anyways. I might as well go ahead and grab it now. Uh, we got Fur Fighters and Vigo's Revenge. It's a game. <laughs> I've heard of Fur Fighters actually, but I don't know anything about it. Um, so I don't know. That could be fun. Whatever. Uh, what else did we get? We got Onimusha 3 Demon Siege because I really enjoyed the first one. They also had the second one in stock down there and I almost grabbed the second one, but it wasn't complete in box. So I decided to wait on that one specifically and uh, we'll check back later or I'll buy a copy offline or something like that because I do want the full collection of those because I really enjoyed the first one. Uh, Noodle requested that I buy P Disney's Pixar Monsters, Inc. So... That's a game. Um, <laughs> add that to the collection. And then lastly, we got Ty 2, the Tasmanian Tiger Bush Rescue. Uh, I know that's a game that Nate is interested in, or at least the first one was a game that he was interested in. So went ahead and picked up the second one of that to throw into the collection as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. None of these games I'm personally super excited for outside of Onimusha 3, um, but I probably won't play that one at least personally won't play that one until I play two. Stream is a different thing. And then uh, Tie 2 should be interesting. Because, um, I don't know, Tie 1 was good. I just never got around to finishing it. And then, of course, uh, Chain of Memories. Chain of Memories I'm super excited for because I love Kingdom Hearts. And uh, I've heard that this one is a lot better than the PS2, the Rechain. So, excited to play through the original. Alright, set all them down. Let's get another drink of tea real quick. 
It is warm. Nice tea latte. I used Earl Grey tea. This might be my first time ever um, having Earl Grey tea. I think it is. It's like a black tea. I, I don't know like if all Earl Grey teas are the same or if they're different. This one specifically is black tea, which I think they're all that. And then it has like the citrus note, which is uh, very common, I suppose. I'm a little bit floral, but that might just come from the citrus. And peppery. It's got like a pepperness to it, which I like black pepper type of pepperiness to it. And uh, I actually really like it. I'm not going to lie. Noodle hates it, but I'm a big fan of it. I'm uh... <laughs> it's really, really good. So I'm super, super happy with that. Noodle as an early birthday gift for her. I'm doing late birthday. She's doing early birthday. She got herself the new uh, Keurig. Well, I mean, I ordered it for her, but she's been begging for it. So, uh, yeah, so we got her that. Last thing before we actually get started. Hey, Noodle. Did I say hi, hi already? I don't remember. Anyways, hello. Last thing before we actually get into the game game here. I It's not put in the PS2 yet, but I did get the mem card too. So it's a, uh, a really fancy memory card for the PlayStation 1 and 2. Um, when I first saw it, I didn't realize that it actually worked for the PS1 as well, but I already have the Mem Card Pro, the original, for the PS1, so I'll probably just keep using that one for that and this one separately for the PS2. Um, but I was watching uh, another review on it, and apparently they added functionality so that it will automatically create memory cards for you, even if you're not launching from Homebrew. When the first review I saw said that that only worked if you were launching games through the homebrew route, like use an OPL or, or something like that to launch your games. And uh, that kind of sucks for, for stream, because that's not how I launch games through stream. But I was figured I could still just use the web interface or whatever to switch memory cards, so not that big of a deal. But according to that other review that I watched, it uh, it just works. Like, it just automatically detects the game that you're playing, makes you a new memory card if you don't already have one. If you do have one, it just switches to it, and you should be good to go. So the only reason we're not using it today is because I need to update the firmware and buy a SD card to pop in it um, so that it actually has, you know, some storage space. But that's it. It's just a, it's just a memory card with, a, uh, with an OLED screen and some buttons on it. Another really cool thing about this one specifically, if you play, if you have a backwards compatible PS3, um, you can actually use this as a memory card on the PS3 as well. The SD, or I'm sorry, not the SD, the micro um, USB card. Huh, the micro SD. <laughs> Bruh, I'm screwing up so bad. The micro USB slot on the outside of it apparently can be used if you uh, hold down one of the buttons whenever you plug it in. It'll give you an option whether you want to use it as a storage device. Um, so then you can like, you know, back up your saves or whatever. But it also apparently gives you the option to use it as a memory card adapter for the PS3. So then the, the memory card just pops up as a as a memory card on the ps3 and then you can you know use it to play your games back up your games from the ps3 or whatever because of course the ps3 itself also has like virtual memory card support but it's still it's a neat little feature so yeah pretty excited about that too but that's everything that's all the stuff i bought today and uh this i had bought like 20 some days ago and it just came in so <laughs> nate what's up man welcome my guy happy to see you dude yeah, after stream today, I'm probably going... Or no, shoot. I don't have an SD card yet. Tomorrow, <laughs> or the next day, assuming I'm not, like, balls deep in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth all day, I'm uh, gonna try and get the memory card set up, and then I'll transfer over the saves and uh, for, for Dark Cloud here. And then from now on, we shouldn't have to worry about it, because it should just automatically make us a brand new memory card for every game we pop in, which is perfect for me, considering, you know, I'm trying to play... We've played, what, about 250-ish games? There's 1,801 in total, so... <laughs> so, I don't have to do nearly as much memory card management. It should just do it all for me, which I'm uh, really looking forward to. That should be... That should be awesome. Keurig just made the reheating noise, and Charlotte gave it a death glare. I'm sure it'll take her a little bit of time to get used to it, but once she does, I'm, I, it'll be fine. She'll be fine. That's right, we got the fishing pole last time, man. I completely forgot. Let's go fishing. <laughs> I have no idea how this works. I'm sure it'll be fine. Do we just, like, do we click on the sign? Fish. Okay. And then what? Okay, so we have the thing. Bait, no hook. Change bait. 
you can use... Wait, can you use anything? Or does it, like... Like, if I tried to use bread, would it say no? Can't be used. Okay, that's fine. That's that's what I expected. I was just confused why it showed, like, everything. Carrot. Bait. Carrot. Okay, so then cast. And then we just wait for something to grab it, I guess? I don't know, we can, we can, like, move it around and stuff. Anybody, anybody interested in my... Oh. Okay, you know what? We can recast with the same bait, right? We can. Good, good, good. Okay. I don't know, like, does it work like Animal Crossing and you need to get it, like, right in front of the fish? Or do we just have to take our time? We don't cast it out very far, I see. Like, I held the X button that time. It didn't really seem to do anything. Do any of the buttons do anything? No, it looks like it's just X to to pull it in or, or moving, of course, to do stuff. So I think, I think we literally just wait. This might be... I should have talked about the games and stuff now, whenever... Oh, that fish just, like, walked right past it, man. Walked, swam, whatever, same thing. I thought for sure he was going to bite it, but he said no. He cared not. Do we need to, like, jiggle it around or anything? Is it fine on its own? Can we lose the bait? Like, if we don't grab it soon enough? Can we go into the menu from here? We cannot. Yeah, I mean, I can only move, like, back and forth. Can't move away. But it seems to only make it get closer. Like... Oh. Maybe these fish just don't like carrots? Huh. Is he gonna get it? He's... Dude, you're definitely looking at it. Oh, you were definitely looking at it. Come on. You, little dude. No! <laughs> Why would you guys not bite my carrot? <laughs> Eat the carrot! You want it. You know you want it. You're so hungry right now. Okay, you know what? Let's pull that out. Can we... We can change the bait. I'm assuming if we change the bait, though, we lose... What we have... I really wish there was a way to, like, cast out farther or something. Oh, man, we're just, we're just gonna wait. Just give it a minute or two. I guess, like, here, I can, like, Google it while we, while we sit here. That dude's kind of circling it a little bit. Dark cloud fishing. Fishing FAQ. Oh. You looking at it? You stopped like right in front of it. Bruh. Thought for sure that dude wanted it. Dark Cloud, you can take a break from defeating bad guys and building towns and go fishing. Rotate camera, no use, no use. Turn left or right, stop fishing, reel in. No use, no use, pause, okay. Getting a rod, getting a pond, getting bait. We have all that. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Fishing. <laughs> Here, I'll discuss how to fish. First, go to a pond. Uh, walk up to the sign near the pond. Just move the pointer to fish and press X. Now be in a similar screen, only you can't walk a certain distance away from the pond. Okay. Uh, should say no hook right now. Press square, your inventory will be brought up. Walk along the edge of the pond until you see a fish or two. Position yourself so you are facing straight forward or straight towards them and press X. You'll cast your line out and your bait will sink to the bottom with the bobber on top of the water. Making pancakes? Bruh, I love some pancakes. I'm actually hungry as hell today, but I didn't eat, so <laughs> it's fine. 
Noodle and I got some some donuts last night, and I ate a donut uh, along with uh, some breakfast from McDonald's, and I just have not. No, 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 no more, no more for me. That's uh, <laughs> I'll eat eventually. Um, we could have burgers again. I mean, we could, but I laid out that fish for dinner. Um, I mean, if you're wanting to make something now, then burgers are easy to make if you want to make them. Um, but otherwise, I'm just going to wait until after stream, and then I'll have fish or one of our meal kit meals or whatever. It's up to you, love. Uh, if the fish swim around your bait, wait until your controller starts to rumble. It should be a soft rumble, not the huge vibration one. You should also see the floater bob up and down. Look closely at the bobber. When it goes underwater, press X. If you time to right, the fish will start to tug the line away from you. Now tap X as fast as you can to reel it in. And there you have it. Okay, yeah, so it literally is just wait and hope for the best. The fish don't seem to be biting. You have a couple of options. First, you can try a different bait. Many fish only eat certain types of bait. Second, try moving the rod around while it is cast. You can do this by using the left analog stick. Uh, move to a different spot or move to a different spot around the body of water. Want to catch a legendary fish, but it's not anywhere near the right time? Don't worry, there's plenty you can do. Didn't even know there was legendary fish. Um, okay. Either on the bobber's underwater, but they never catch anything. What they're actually doing is pulling the bobber under when the fish is just nibbling. Then wait for it to actually grab it. Uh, start to nibble, but don't bring it. Feature it, you lose it. Okay. Guess you'll wait. Like I said, I don't mind. If you want to make burgers, that's fine. And if we're too full to eat, like, food tonight tonight, then, like, it's not that big of a deal. We can have fish for, or I'll eat the fish for lunch tomorrow or something. Because you won't be home, right? I don't think you'll be home tomorrow. Yeah, you work tomorrow. Sorry, I had to think what day it was. Um... Okay, so we're using carrot. Pretty good bait. Can catch the alternative, alternative to legendary fish. Something... Umadakura? Uh -huh. If you make burgers, yeah, I'll take... I mean, shit, you can bring me two if you make burgers. Alright. So apparently this is a good fish. Time of day might have something to do with it. Okay, there's some fish over here. Like, I think it's just there's different fish during different times of day is what it sounds like. But oh, the mellow banana apparently can also be used to catch fish. It's like two different things. And okay, a couple of the attack items can be too, like uh, the throbbing cherry. Found in the village's peanut pond? Found in... Wait, do we have, like, multiple villages that we end up doing? Huh. I really don't... I really want to fish, but, like, bruh... I don't know! Can catch the alternative. Catches gummy and Uma Dakra. Okay, well, are those ones available here? Because if they're not available here, then we're like screwed, right? Record catches. I don't care about that. Okay. Um. Control F. Gummy. Found in No Rune Village Pond. In the Peanut Pond. It's found in both. So it is found here. So we're not completely wasting our time. And then... What about this one? Oh. That did not do what I thought it would. Uh, try that again. Control C. Control V. Okay, so the, the legendary one or whatever, just isn't here. 
So we're not going to catch that one here, which is fine, but... But apparently we can catch the other one, so... You know you guys want it, right? Maybe, like... Maybe whenever they start looking at it again, we should move it a little bit. You're close. You're not looking at it, per se, but you're close. Oh, come on, you dicks. Eat my carrot. You're so close. Why do you suck? No, don't run away. I'm trying to give you a fish. Okay, so if we pull it too far, it just comes back up. That's That makes sense. Hmm... This uh, might not end up being something we do <laughs> much of. I was really hoping to, like, do some fishing, because I really enjoy fishing in video games, but... Also, Nate, I saw your message. I can't remember if I replied or not, but... <laughs> but I know, I'm super excited, man. For Stardew Valley 1.6. I, uh, obviously love Stardew Valley. And 1.6 looks like it's going to be a pretty good update. Even though it was meant to just be like a modders update. And he ended up adding a bunch of new content. Because of course he did. Because um, Eric Barone is a madman. I think he did say this is going to be the last big one. Like last big update for the game. But I'm pretty sure he said that before too. So yeah we'll see. You know like. It, I feel like it, there's a good chance he just ends up updating this one game for literally ever. I just want to catch, like, at least one fish, dude. Let me catch at least one, you know? Come on. Oh, shit. Hold it too far. Okay, look straight at some fish. Throw the thing out. There you go. It's out here. Bro. Look at look at my thing. <laughs> look at my carrot, damn it. Why would you not bite it? I don't even know like which size is the right one or anything. It makes sense that certain fish will only eat certain bait. But it's also super annoying because I feel like we're just going to end up wasting a lot of bait if I kept doing this. But yeah, I think sadly fishing is going to have to be more or less a no-go. Even though that one item looks really cool. The super expensive one. Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, why'd you leave? It looked like you saw it. Did I move it too much? Did I scare you? I give up. It's fine. We're just gonna dungeon crawl or whatever. Um, I guess quit. Do we get our... Do we get our carrot back? It's basic. I don't think it's that big of a deal either way, but... It would be nice not to lose it. Not sure if we had to or if we did get it back. Waggle waggle creepy fishing bait. Petite fish. Potato cake. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, well, to clear up our inventory space, I guess we might as well go to the old lady's hut here. I don't remember what her name actually is, but... She lets us store things. I remember that much. It's finished. Oh, it's finished! Life feels better when you're doing something, right? Thank you. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> Thought maybe she would, like, give me something or whatever, but I guess not. It's fine. Whatever. Mm, I store all the fishing stuff. Give us more inventory space. That, I don't think, was actually a fishing thing. Yeah, no. That was an item. Yep, that's it. Bye. 
Now we get to go down and visit D D Darun? What was his name? Darren? I don't know. I'm assuming once we do that, it'll open up a new village for us to do. Because I kind of spoiled myself looking at this fish fishing guide, but there's definitely at least a couple of villages that we can visit and presumably re... Dran, that was his name. Visit and rebuild. I mean, I'm not surprised. I kind of thought that might be a thing anyways, because one, this village seems to be done already. So, like, there's not much more to do here. And two, um, we already collected, like, everything. And we're not that far into the game. We're only, what, 16-ish hours? Or no, not even. We're, like, 8-ish hours into the game or something like that. Probably a little less than that, even. So, horn-shaped keyhole. Well, lucky for me, I have a horn shaped key. Yeah. One of those. Oh, why? You're you're not what I expected. Not gonna lie. You're interesting looking. Oh, well, we don't have to fight him, right? Careful stream seems that Duran is being manipulated. Then there's no choice but oh, okay. I guess we do have to fight him then. Let me get comfy real quick. Game. I wasn't expecting a fight. I thought you know, good guy, the uh, Duran or whatever his name is, he'd be on our side. But use your power to break the spell. I got this, dude. I've played rhythm games once or twice in my life. I'm assuming it's the same, right? He's, he's just a boss. Oh, shit. Is it not? <laughs> um, oh, God. I don't remember how to fight. Are we dead already? <laughs> no, that just hurt. Okay. Well, I don't have, like... Yeah, that didn't work. Why did the floor break? Do I just have to survive? Hold on. Switch. She can do ranged attacks. Does this even, like, work? I mean, it's doing a whole one damage to him. Sometimes. When it actually hits him. Oh, he ran. Uh, hold on. Do we have... Do we have bombs? Neutral damage... Fire-based damage? Sure. Let's try that. Some poison might be good, too, assuming he's susceptible to poison. I don't see any bombs. So I'm guessing we're out of those. Oh. You okay down there, love? Damn you! Okay, well, he's gonna keep running away, then... Can't even hit him. Oh. Did that do anything to him? Did that even hit him? Are we just wasting everything? I feel like we're just wasting everything. We're definitely wasting the durability on our weapon. That much is for sure. Are we just surviving? What are we... <laughs> How do we fight this dude? Oh, you know what? I probably have the bad weapon equipped right now. I didn't think about that. Uh, no, never mind. I have the good one equipped. He just... does not take any damage. I can't even see his damage, though, which concerns me. Did that hit him? Okay. Let's fix our, our thingy before it breaks, breaks. Uh, repair powder. Are we just trying to, like, get the entire floor destroyed? 
what is our goal here? It's weird, because, like, it doesn't break every time. I do wonder if we're supposed to just be, like, surviving. All the goals? Let's go. I'm so confused on what we're doing right now. Oh. Oh, that actually hurt her, huh? It's fine. We have food. Completely recovers health. Uh, probably just a little bit. I don't think, yeah. Say so she doesn't have that much health to really have to worry about. You gonna, like, shoot at me again, bro? I don't think I can throw things that far. Yeah, I don't think that's doing anything. The, like, the items in general. Do also need to eat again, sadly. We did take a, take a bit of a hit. Um... I literally don't know what to do. Oh, I didn't realize that was, like, a quick stack button. That's... I guess. Help, shoot. Probably don't fall. Falling seems like it's a bad idea. Do I need to look this up? Like, how the hell do we... <laughs> what are we doing? I mean, it seems like he has to land every now and then, right? So maybe if we destroy the entire floor, he won't be able to land to rest? Falling is the goal? I think maybe you're right, but I think it's him that needs to fall. Not, you know, us. At least that's, that's my guess. It's my only, only guess. Oh, okay, well. How much damage do we take when we fall? A lot, apparently. Holy hell. Oh, nope, not that. Eat that. And then... If our goal is just to survive, I guess take the dude with a lot more health, who also really needs to freaking eat. He can eat the chicken. weapon do I have equipped? Oh, that's right, I broke the good one last time because I'm a stupid person. A stupid, stupid person. <laughs> I forgot that it broke, man. That is... Did not mean to use that. Um, That sucks. And see. It's gonna break more ground. We might just have to reload, man. We've done nothing but waste a crap ton of items on this. Is he gonna land or gonna break some more flooring? Okay. Is there any more? Like, big sections of floor to break? I guess this one over here looks pretty breakable. That break more floor? It did. Guess I'll just stand right here and wait. If I fall, though, I'm probably dead. See, it's like, it's either there's not more stuff that's breakable over there, or only certain fireballs actually break stuff. I don't know.
Damn. Uh, leave half the money. Now you know, honestly, I think I think we're just gonna reset. That we didn't do anything. <laughs> like all we did was die, and we didn't like. I don't even know what we're doing, man. I'm so lost. Like, uh, I don't, I don't understand how how to fight Dran, how to fight Dran, Dark Cloud. It's a shoot him and then beat on him. Okay, so we actually do have to like fight him. Crap, <laughs> because we have no good weapons. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, her weapon, Zhao or whatever, it's not that bad, right? His, uh, her weapon's actually pretty decent. Um, But the one decent weapon we had for, for the main dude, whatever his name is, I broke it last time, so... Kind of SOL on that one, maybe? But I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, I don't care. I was gonna go drop off the fishing stuff again, but we have enough inventory space that it'll be fun. Just restart the fight. Um, okay, so shoot him down as quickly as possible. Now it says like to use a good weapon, but we're only doing one damage either way. So I don't think it actually matters which weapon we use. With with Zhao. And with him, we literally only have the one weapon. So definitely doesn't matter there either. If we fail again, I guess we're just going to have to do some grinding. and Try to find a, a new weapon or two. I mean, it is totally my fault. I put, I put us in this situation by constantly breaking things. Get your power to break the spell. That's very helpful. Thank you, old man. I really thought this was just going to be the same as every other boss fight and just be <laughs> freaking QTEs or whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay. So shoot. See, the problem, it's kind of hard to shoot him, at least with the lock on. I guess maybe if we didn't lock on, maybe it would be okay there. Okay, and then... Nope, that didn't work. Mm. So... Oh, shit, that was dumb. Sometimes we just don't hit him, too. Like, even when he's still. You want to stop moving? See, like, right now he's down, so in theory we should be able to beat on him with... With Dran here? Okay, well, he actually, like, sat down, sat down there for a second. We're still only doing two damage, though, so, like... Either way, it seems more or less pointless. Oh, wait, is he actually, like, down, down? Problem is, even when he stands up, he does damage to us, though. I think we're, I think we're kind of boned, dude. This is gonna be rough. And we also have to remember, her weapon is a lot stronger than even his best weapon was before we broke it. So, like, no matter what, we would be struggling. So we wouldn't be doing any damage with him. Uh, not dumb. Repair. I mean, we could force an upgrade on it. We don't have any, like... Oh, we do have some stuff we can put on. Okay. I mean... Attack plus one... 
and then... Bro, I guess I really don't care. Just... Holy attribute. What attribute does it have right now? It has wind. So let's keep increasing wind, I guess. And then upgrade. Confirm. We'll use some upgrade powder. Or power-up powder, whatever the hell it's called. And then... Do you have anything attached to you you don't? That's actually fine. That's what I wanted. These are all attribute stuff. MP doesn't matter right now. I guess just put speed on it. And then... What does your dagger have right now? Anything? Yeah, okay. It just says, like, generic. It does more to these people sort of thing. That's fine. Yeah, I really don't feel the need to upgrade his stuff at all. Let's give you some... something. Um, I guess MP. Upgrade it again. This is not ideal at all, but... I'm just trying to get it to be... It, it, even if it just is like two damage. Two damage is better than, <laughs> than nothing. I don't think giving it random attributes helps at all. I think the extra attributes only matter if we equip it with that attribute or like set it as active, but whatever. We'll put it on there anyways. Okay, did we do three damage or two damage at least? No, it's still doing one damage each hit. Oh my God. really nice if we didn't miss so much. Should we just not be like... Mm, nah, I don't know. The auto-aim's probably the way to go. Honestly, I feel like repairing's gonna be our biggest issue. I still don't understand why sometimes it just doesn't hit him, though, whenever the bullet clearly goes, like, right through him. Like, right there. Does he have iframes? Maybe he has iframes. No, that one didn't hit him either. Maybe he's just invincible during that attack. And we just need to let him attack. Dodge out the... Dodge out the way, I was saying. Right. Eat some food. There you go, my dude. Then hit him one more time when he's down, and then let him attack. And then attack, and then just repeat. Oh, nope, that missed. Okay, that's fine. So maybe items will work whenever he's, like, on the ground. If he's not in the middle of an attack animation or whatever. It's like, right now. Okay, yeah, that actually did some damage. Cool. Cool. That's the best damage we've gotten so far, so I say we just do more of that and pray. Oh man, I thought we stopped turning. There we go. Where's he gonna land? 10 whole damage. Let's go. Knock him down. There we go. Uh, I think we were too far away. There we go. No effect. Okay, that's more or less what I figured was going to happen with that one, but had to give it a try, right? We have more repair powder. It increases power. Um, Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Because I think that'll make our attacks a little bit stronger. Wait, do we not have any more repair powder? Really? We don't? Oh, I could have swore we had more than... I think we came in with one. Oh, shit. Did we hit him? 
we only have like two attacks left. I really can't afford to lose this weapon too, so. Okay, so now we, we have to change weapons. We have no choice. It would suck for this slingshot to die too, but it's not the end of the world if it does. I wish we had some idea on how much health he had. So even if we don't miss another shot, I don't know if 40 more damage is going to be enough to, to deal with him. This is definitely the way to go, though. Dodge and shoot. As long as he stays in the same attack cycle over and over again. Thirsty Hushy. Oh shit. GG me. Am I locked on to him? No, I am. No! He's on top of me! Oh thank god we're still alive. Okay. Uh eat the eat the food. And then we do have that and holy. It says causes major damage to the undead. We're not undead or don't have. We're not fighting undead, I guess, is what I was trying to say. Oh. But any damage is better than no damage. Oh, well. I don't think that did any damage in this case. Uh, nearly quenches thirst. Quenches thirst a little bit. Sure. A little bit sounds good. Where are you going? Come back. Or I really do not have, like, weapon stamina to be losing to you, so... Yeah, I don't think that did any damage, the rock. Either I wasn't close enough, or he was invincible at the m moment. Can I land? He's landing. What, do we just like... What do we do once we run out of weapon stamina, I wonder? As far as I can tell, there's no way to get him to come down without shooting him with Zhao here. At least, I guess, now we know the trick if we have to leave and come back. I mean, we can pretty consistently get hits on him again, or now. I just, I hate the reload again. But that might end up being what we have to do. Even if we use this weapon until it breaks, we have no way of, like, repairing it and bringing it back. And other dude has no way of doing ranged attacks. I'm glad not all the boss fights are literally just QTEs. Don't get me wrong. I just... Wish this one was a little better. <laughs> I guess that's I guess that's my thing. I, guess I know the slingshot's about to break. Hush game. I don't know how many shots we have left on the bandit one. But I guess we'll get this down to one. And then we'll use the bandit one to pull him down and see if we can't get a couple hits off using the Oh, uh, that one cost two. Whatever, it was one weapon level. I don't really care. Um, weapon. Oh, no, it has, like, no shots left at all. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay. Well, switching to this then, I guess. Oh, good. <laughs> I died. <laughs> uh, I don't... I say we don't use the stand-in powder, and we just die. Yeah. Wait.
Huh? How do we end up with infinite ammo? I thought when it was broke, you couldn't use it at all. I guess when the basic weapon's broke, you can still use it. It just sucks. I mean, which is fine, because we're only doing one damage to him per, per shot anyways. But, like, this is unexpected. Alright, I guess it's just very slowly whittling him down here. I am gonna... Hold on. What's the chances that shot kills him? Zero, it looks like. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dark Cloud Dran Health. Dark Cloud Wiggy, Dran. He has 250 HP. So, I mean, I don't know how many times we've shot him so far, but it's fine. At most, we have to do this 250 times. Or we die. I mean, if we die, that's that's another thing. I guess we can shoot as much as we want now. There's no, like, worry about ammo or anything. We do still need to drink water and stuff, though. Yeah, and this also does confirm he is completely invincible, like invulnerable whenever he's in his attack animation. Oh, piece of cheese? Yes, please. Oh, you liked your coffee? That's good, love. I'm glad you like it. It'd suck, you know, if we bought a whole box for you and you hated it or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> that would suck. I think... Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm gonna reload it. I'm gonna reload it. Because we're back at the village anyways. Um, but what I was gonna say is for her weapon, like the dagger, I think I'm still gonna upgrade, the basic dagger. But for her weapon, I think I might just let it break because then we just get unlimited ammo for no penalty. Like other than the fact that it stays base level, like who cares, right? You're trying the new one. <laughs> I think somebody's a little obsessed, love. The frother did good. I still have foam. And that's using almond milk, not even like real milk, so. Pretty happy with the frother. And it's dishwasher safe, which is very convenient, of course. What the hell? Can't show this on stream because these are people I know IRL, but. Oh, just some. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is this real or. Oh, I wish I could show it, but I can't show it. Anyways, I have to check that out later. Can't watch right now. Is this real? Okay. Film lasts a while, but you want more coffee? You're gonna try the Newmans and make it last. I got you. I mean, it's fine. Enjoy your coffee maker. Make your stuff. Just don't give yourself the poops. <laughs> Drinking too much coffee. I might have another tea latte in a bit, because, I mean, this one's almost gone, but it was really good. kind of wish I would have used the smaller mug. I thought it was going to take up, like, more space, so I used my, my big-ass Fallout mug that I have. Is it the same on both sides? I think it's the same on both sides, so yeah. And my big-ass Fallout mug, but this won't fit on my, my mug warmer that I have. 
so it's kind of like cold but oh well we'll live uh hold on okay before i go back to the dungeon actually do i have enough money to buy any more repair powder although i guess if the other weapon's only doing one damage per shot anyways then it literally doesn't matter does it yeah no i i don't think it does yeah, we can just go straight to dungeon then. Screw it. You've never had that problem with coffee, but you're going to save the 8 o'clock for another day. Okay. I used to have that problem with coffee sometimes. Not like all the time, but sometimes I'd get the poops. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> coffee does that to people. It's fine. All right. Key... And then, can we just switch straight to her now? Is that gonna, like, take, or... Or no? Probably not. Wish we could skip the cutscene. It's fine. I've only watched it three times, you know? Careful, use your power. Yep, yep, yep. I got you, old man. So I imagine this is kind of the loop of the entire game, right? Like, we go to other villages. We have to fight their protector, whoever that is, and then just repeat, essentially. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, no! Okay. That's going to make it significantly harder, the fact that I let a hole form. I mean, we can just, like, circle around the outside. It's not that big of a deal. Till she freaking dies! <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that didn't happen. That <laughs> Everybody just forget about that. It's fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I can't. That was terrible. Try again. <laughs> we got this, man. No, no, no problem. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh boy, I did not expect to have like trouble today, to be honest. I thought this was going to be an easy game session of just like fishing and uh, quick time events and, you know, maybe, maybe a tiny bit of dungeon crawling between all the fishing and stuff, but turns out, nope, we're gonna, we're gonna struggle today. It's gonna, it's gonna take a minute. I mean, it's pretty clear I'm not very good at this game in general, to be fair. It's not. I don't blame the game at all, though. It's definitely me. I just I just suck at this game, dude. <laughs> uh, there's the problem you thought. You're right. You're right. I'll try not to thought anymore. It's just so hard not to thought sometimes, you know? Just thought around all over the place. <laughs> Ah, we got this, bruh. I'm not even worried. No, as long as... The big thing is just don't let a hole form. As long as we don't let a hole form this time, I honestly, I think we'll be fine. Because we figured out the loop. We just have to do the stupid loop 250 times. <laughs> oh my god. I'm wondering if you are meant to, like, grind a little bit in the game, you know? I mean, we're probably meant to be doing, like, the the secondary sections as well. That would help, because, you know, more enemies, better drops, better items, etc. So, like, doing that probably actually would be pretty good. But we never got the stupid drops we needed to explore the secondary sections, except for once. I guess if we keep struggling with this, we could just start 
a grind sesh up here. Oh, lock on. Okay, do not let him... Yeah, do not let him, just period. Okay, so he should be in the... No, that didn't keep him in the loop? Okay. Interesting. I mean, that's fine. As long as we shoot him as soon as he, like, starts to stop here. Okay, that did 15 damage. I'm not sure how much the first one did, but... Might as well still use the items to get some damage on him. The apples were pointless. They didn't do anything. The rock? Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. It's also very possible we just didn't get close enough. The rock did one. Thank you, love! What'd you say? Yeah, I'm very comfy. Thank you. She delivered burgers. Yeah. Bye! Um, yeah, I was trying to kind of count the damage. That's 10, 20... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing we've done about 30. We'll call that 40. We'll call it 40 damage is what we've done so far. I very well could be wrong. But at least it'll give us a general idea of where we're at. No! Get the hole, boy. The hole! Okay, heal... Item, uh, heal, and then that sucks. Okay, we can still do it. We just have to dodge the stupid hole, which is annoying. We just have to be more careful when we're moving around. Okay, it's not worth risking this weapon breaking whenever it doesn't do anything extra anyways. Now... Okay, it doesn't have anything equipped. I'm gonna say, if it has anything equipped, we'll we'll take it off. That way, whenever it inevitably breaks here soon, it'll be good. So we're gonna call that 41. 42. 43. <laughs> this is gonna take a minute. Forty-five. Forty-six. I'm not going to count every single one out loud, I promise. So how's everybody else doing, though? Nate, how are you doing today, my guy? You excited for that Stardew 1.6 drop? He did say that you would have to start a new farm to get, like, all of the new content. Which is kind of rough, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Have you heard anything about, like, what else he's added to the game? I know he still did, like, the original intent of, of having, like, making the modding stuff better for modders. But other than that, I, I haven't really seen... I think he added, like, some new events or something? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm gonna start eating a burger. A very juicy looking burger. Can I do this one hand or are the burgers too messy? Guess we'll find out. Can I play one handed? That's the other question. I'm like leaned back really far in my chair. Yeah, I don't think I trust myself to do the fight one-handed. You did give me a paper towel, I see you. Thank you. Yeah, I've kind of lost count. We had, what, 50? Did we have the full 51 whenever we switched this weapon? I guess it doesn't really matter. We just keep doing this till he dies anyway, so... Take a bite every now and then, chill a little bit. We're in it for the long haul now. Hopefully we have enough water to last us until the end of the, uh... 
whatever you want to call this. I guess fight. Uh, quench a little thirst. Guess we might as well, like, equip the food and stuff in case we get hit. That way it's just there. I just have to be careful not to accidentally use it. Honestly, I probably could do this one-handed. It's just a matter of, like, getting the controller in the right spot in my hand. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, shit. That's a bad idea. I shouldn't have tried to do it one-handed. Oh, it's fine. We still got this. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, I gotta sit it down. <laughs> Where's he at? Where's he at? I really don't want more holes. Anything but more holes. Yeah, okay, so it does. It just keeps working. Sick. and bite. You put the info in Discord? Nice. Yeah, I'll look at it here soon. Is there any, like, specific feature or anything you're looking forward to, though, my guy? That's more what I'm curious about, you know, what you're interested in. Your thoughts. It's gonna take freaking forever, dude. It probably would have been faster just to, <laughs> to grind a little bit to try and find a better weapon, honestly. But like, if we did try to do, if we did try to do it the other way though, it would have been much harder to do, anyways. This way is actually super easy. It just takes freaking forever. I guess if we had gotten a better slingshot for, for her, then that would have been, like, ideal. Because we could still do the same super easy strat that we're doing now, but then be doing... Hell, even if it was just two damage per shot, it would still be a huge increase in DPS. I mean, literally double what we're doing right now. Festivals and farm stuff he had. Also very curious of the little stuff. Yeah, he uh, that was another thing he did that I just remembered, right? He increased the multiplayer count to 8, I think. And did he put out a new map to go with that? A new farm map? I can't remember if he actually did that or if I'm imagining it. But I feel like there was a new farm type, too, that you could, that you could use. Thirsty, uh, drink. Really hope we have enough water to last us all this. I don't know, like, how much damage we're doing per water bar. That's what, three or four? Five. We should be able to map this out pretty easily. I'm guessing around ten. That's seven. Eight. It hasn't run out yet. So that's a little bit more. A little drop left there. Nine. Yeah, so like nine or ten. So that means... The water bottle refills three, so that's 27-ish. And then this one refills four, so that's 36-ish. 27, 
37, 36. We might legitimately not have enough water to make this work even. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay. If only we could, like, shoot him more than once per freaking cycle. That would make things so much easier. The invulnerability is kind of bullshit. Of course, we had to waste our bombs on the uh, whatever that one enemy type was that was really annoying last week. I think it was some sort of skeleton, but they had a shield or something. And Zhao had no good way of trying to damage them. Another bite. We can optimize a little bit by hitting him as early in the cycle as we can after he lands. It seems like his invul invulnerability ends as soon as he lands. I guess when we run out of water, it just starts slowly draining health, so... That is another option. Like, we can just let ourselves start dying and then use bread to survive. There's that. Newman's is your favorite? That's good. Oh, isn't your favorite. I misread. I'm sorry you don't like it as much, but at least it's drinkable. Hopefully we can change. So we're on like a subscription plan for the coffee. But hopefully we can like change the options and yeah. I, I imagine you can, right? It'd be pretty dumb if they locked you into your first choices even after having, like, never tried it before or whatever. Okay. Um, this is the one that's just a little bit, yeah. So we might as well go ahead and use that one. No reason not to. Try another or gladly take more of the Hawaiian. Of course you will. I might end up trying the Hawaiian just because if you keep saying how good it is. And just try a drink of like one of your lattes or caps or whatever you're making with it. You've piqued my interest. I had you fill up a water for me or something before you came up. I still have a little bit of tea. It's not quite gone, but it's pretty low. Fine. If we finish this boss by nine, then uh, I'll just <laughs> run down and grab something. But it smelled really good. You hope the eight o'clock is good? You've had eight o'clock coffee before, right? I imagine it's the same as like what you would buy in stores. Just, you know, in a, in a pod. Ah, like I said, I'm fine. I still have a little bit of tea. And if this boss ever, ever dies, then I can just come down and get my own. Thank you, though. Ooh, don't fall in the hole. Avoid the holes. Holes are bad. Look at burger. I'm surprised you never tried it before. I feel like 8 o'clock's a very common brand. I 
Okay, since this water bottle refills our entire thing of water, I'm gonna wait until we take like at least one tick of damage from the thirst, and then we'll we'll chug her down. That way we get as much as possible out of it. I am concerned even with food that we might not have enough. As long as we don't take any hits though, I think we'll be good. I'm not 100% positive on that. This might all be for naught. Without getting some bombs and or better weapons, we might be completely SOL. Taking damage. Drink. Oh, golly. really wish he had a health bar, man. I'm super curious how far we are, but there was no way I was going to keep track of 250 shots. <laughs> like, that just wasn't going to happen. Not realistically. Not for me. What even is this thing? It's like a... A big ass cat with horns and wings? Oh no 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 no! Oh, what did I just say? Man, we can't be taking damage! That might have screwed us. A very real chance that screwed us. What is the point I didn't count every shot? One! <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Who? Is that really is that really what you want to sit here and do for the next 20 minutes? Three? Four? Yeah, no, that's <laughs> sounds terrible. I'd rather just eat my burger. <laughs> Pray this dude freaking dies. I wonder if you can actually die of thirst. I've never put that to the test before. I know the the health bar drains, but I'm wondering like will it go to zero? Or does it just get super low? I don't know that. I need to get away from that hole a little bit. Come to the side over here. There we go, that was a pretty quick shot after he landed. Oops. Seems like if we can, when he hits a wall, sometimes he just like runs into it for a bunch of extra time. Sometimes he seems to stop sooner. So I'm wondering like if he has a minimum time that he has to fly, but then after... I'm so glad we survived. But then after that, he's just like free to do whatever. To fall. That might be another small optimization you could do is, you know, like, try to keep him close to one of the edges instead of going all the way across the center. Thought he was doing something different there for a sec. I got super excited, man. Uh, maybe, just maybe, he was dead. At this rate, we'll probably die before he does. IRL. Fucking croak, man. Getting thirsty. Yeah, well, last I checked, we were out of water, so... Can drink some stamina drink? Surely it's got some water in it, right?
I'm so disappointed in myself, man. For taking all these hits. It's so dumb. I mean, you just pay attention to what the hell I'm doing. I feel like we have to be close, but I don't actually know that, you know? Like, it really is just a guess. A hope, a prayer. <laughs> like, please let it almost be over. How much? Oh! Freaking did it, dude! Let's go! <laughs> that's so, <laughs> so that's super exciting. Thank God, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I would have been so upset if we ran out of food, ran out of water, and still hadn't beaten this dude. That would have sucked. <sighs> what you say is being manipulated? I drain the god of beasts? What an embarrassment. <laughs> Hey kids, sorry about that. Uh, Dark Genie did bad shit. Might be in trouble, I've heard the name before. Long ago, a monster called Black Demon appeared in East Terra. A creature called Massacres After Massacre, and almost brought the world to an end. Neither the most gallant knights nor most powerful of sorcerers could stand before the horror of the creature, much less harm it. Its power seemed as vast and limitless as the power of the genies, thus people started to call it the Dark Genie. It wiped out nearly all of the known kingdoms of the world. Ultimately, only a few people survived. Then, when all seemed lost, a tribe called the Moon People created an enormous urn that could seal tremendous magic power and trap the Dark Genie inside. The world recovered and peace was restored. The world was saved by the Moon People and their mystery, mastery of the magical arts. That's about all I know. If you want to go after the Dark Genie, you'd better have the Moon People on your side. Here at the Moon People live quietly deep in the woods in a place located beyond the Matataki Village. The Matataki Village is just south of the Nurin Village. Why not go there first? You got it, bro! Rod that the fairy king, who never liked humans, gave a kid like you the power of that stone. He's got something up. Some something what? Uh. Oh well, I can use some fresh air for a change. Hop on my back, I'll give you a lift outside. Aw, many thanks, dude. Does that mean that cavern just has like a big hole in the ceiling? How do you get out? Hey, what up, man? Thank you for joining. And the resub. Jack just subscribed for 18 months. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Hello to you too, good sir. Uh, votes, what do you want your votes to go on? Mass Effect or one of the new games? I don't know, whatever you want, man. I have a clue just how powerful this genie is, but it was powerful enough to control me. Be prepared and take this along with you. Give me, like, a new weapon or something, man. I really need it. It's a freaking map. I don't care about the world map. I need weapons. I just, ah. It's a magical map that takes you to the place you point to instantly. Uh, da, da, da. Go explore places. Okay. Well, we'll do that. I'm going to eat my burger, though, and go grab a drink. We're going to do that, and then we'll, we'll go explore places again. <laughs> I need weapons so bad, man. Uh, that takes Mass Effect up to 240. It's got a lot of votes, dude. When the shit is that beast? That was like the divine beast of this village. Alright, the guardian of this village, or whatever you want to call it. I forget his name. Dor Darn? Dorn? I don't know. Something along those lines. Whatever. Anyways, like I said, though, I'm going to finish my burger real quick and fill up my water, because your boy be thirsty. BRB. To Jack just redeemed hydrate. It's mostly foam left at this point, but like <laughs> I still had a tiny bit of drink, just not much. That new milk frother, man. 
it seriously froths. That is the most fa sta ah words and most stable foam I've ever had in my life. Anyways, okay, I so do gotta fill up my drink though. So <laughs> BRB. Food, but like, oh, so this is kind of like uh, what the the Lego games where certain characters can do certain things. Oh, so Shaggy can like. Oh, he can use a yo-yo to get across? Okay. That's kind of neat. Oh, man. It smells like tacos. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. It's ground pound? SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom? Uh, I'm trying to remember if I actually have that one or not. Because I know I have the remaster of it. But I can't remember if I have the PlayStation 2 version. I don't think I have the PS2 version yet. I'll definitely be getting it. It's one that I've been wanting to play in general. So if I see a good deal on it, I'm going to be picking it up. But... Oh, no. We fell. Nothing else over here. It's great. I've heard good things about it. And like I said, the remaster looks really cool. Um, so I definitely do want to want to get it. Wait, that's how you spell that word? I have no idea what you're talking about there either, Rue. <laughs> uh. So do we have to like... Oh, we don't even have to ground pound that. We can just stand on it. GTA version is bad. Don't play it. That was a problem with a lot of uh, mobile ports back in the day. They were nothing like the original games that they were meant to take after. Will you stay there, Shaggy? No, Shaggy. Okay, Scooby, stay there. Oh, it's a timed thing. Jump, oh, damn you. <laughs> Got it. What do we get if we spell out Scooby? I know, Scoob. I'm scared, too. But, like, it smells like all of our favorite foods wrapped in one humongous burrito. <laughs> oh. Wait, is that not how lasagna is spelled? <laughs> is there actually no A on the end of lasagna? Bonus, maybe. Scooby medallion. These are a little hard to find, but they give you 500 Scooby snacks. Well worth snooping around for. 500? Let's go, dude. I still don't know if it's worth collecting them, but hell yeah. Give me all the points, please. No, don't go in the water. I wish I wish we could swim. <laughs> We're a dog. I'm pretty sure they've swam in the show before, game. Oh. Oh, wait. I'm confused. Did we not just die in the water a moment ago? Apparently not. That sounds like some Mandela shit right there or something. You wrote on mechanical sharks. Don't forget that. I had such a hard time. While I was at the store earlier today, I saw a bunch of uh, Scooby stuff for Halloween, like movies and whatnot. I was so tempted to pick them up, but... Oh. Need to remember that I'm trying to save. Hello, some money. friends. I'm back. Damn, dude. Can we not get back up there? Maybe we can go. Kind of. I'm getting there. Long way around. Ugh. Uh, it doesn't really look. Rudely like used noodles birthday present situation. before she got to. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe, no lie. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, they were only. One hundred percent. I uh, I stole it. I used it. That was ten dollars for. By and itself. made some or some really good tea with it. It was fantastic. I am I'm not upset about that at all. Cavacow, what's up, man? Are those Doritos? <laughs> what, what, what is, why does Twitch have just straight Dorito emotes, man? That's that's an option, I guess. Doritos chips, yeah. Gross tea? I really liked it. Optijack, you were the one that liked uh, Earl Grey tea, right? I think it was you that mentioned it to me before. Regardless, I that's what kind of tea I use today, and... I, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was good. Wait. Um, ah, go to other area. Okay, it's like, wait a second. We got the world map. How do we actually use it? Divine Beast Cave? So, what, we can just go back down into the bottom of the dungeon? Where we, where we just fought the Divine Beast at? I don't know why we would want to do that, but 
Is that what this is? Uh, maybe it was you then, Nate, that liked it. Oh, cool, we can go to any of the, the places. Regardless, though, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, the one I got... I don't know, like, how similar different Earl Greys are, but the one I got has, like, the citrus notes, which I think they all have. Black tea base, of course. And then, um... Can we not open this again? Anyways, and then, like, it was very peppery, too. It was, uh, it was, it's, it, it's interesting. I made it into a tea latte and quite enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was very good. I'm looking forward to having more. I might drink another one later tonight. I don't know. It depends. I have to try to stay awake tonight, though. I might end up taking a nap after stream, honestly, because one, I hardly slept last night. Um, because I fell asleep before stream. Sorry, guys. And then woke up at, like, 3 in the morning, 2, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, something along those lines. Stayed up until about 7, slept for, like, an hour, and then just could not sleep anymore after that. So then I just kind of... Yeah, <laughs> just did nothing, just miserable. <laughs> it's, it's been a good day for me. Uh, but anyways, but Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes out tonight at midnight, so I'm going to hopefully take a nap or, or something and then get that game at midnight and just play the hell out of it. Um, that's, that's the hope, at least. Okay, old lady, you can have all of this stuff that I gave you before and then reset the game on. Speaking of, we should really drop a hard save. Uh, yeah, that's it. Can I hard save indoors? We can. Just in case something happens. What is Lady Grey, though, Nate? I saw your comment, but I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's another type of tea. Right, that <laughs> that makes sense. But but what what like what are the flavor notes of uh, of Lady Grey? What what's how's it different from just Earl Grey or you know your standard? What's a uh, like the the most common black tea? I feel like it starts with a P or something. I don't know. How's it different though? It's another blend. It's very citrusy. Okay. I wonder if it's just like the same thing, but with more citrus. Again, with it being a blended, like a blend, I imagine that all the different brands are slightly different from each other, but not really sure. I enjoy tea, but I'm not like a tea connoisseur or anything. How was it? Did you get to see Dran? You did. Oh, I see. Dran is resourceful indeed. What? You're going after the Dark Genie and you'll leave No Rune Village to go to Matataki? Mat Matataki? <laughs> Village, that's the hunter's village south of this village. Be careful for the first time being for the time being No run village is safe, but as for the other villages How many times can we say village in one paragraph or one sentence or one 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 dialogue? option uh, Did I mention I'm very tired today? <laughs> so, I just, oh God, I just need to die That's That's all I need uh, I wonder if clearing that last, that last room, the one with the, whatchamacallit, the, with Dran in it, I wonder if that counts as clearing another floor in the dungeon? Because if so, then there's going to be more random junk dotted around the village, but I'm finding it very hard to care enough to go and find them. We do have 200 gold, and we need water. Um, we also need repair powder. I think we're okay on food. Damn it, game. Lady Grey contains lemon and orange peel. Okay, okay. Yeah, when I, when I asked Google, I didn't, like, look it up to get a lot of detail on it. But when I asked Google, the only thing it mentioned for Earl Grey was, uh, some sort of lemon rind to give it like citri or not lemon um uh, orange some sort of like orange rind to give it its citrusy notes so i think uh orange is the only like mainstay for earl gray and then they all kind of do their own thing after that i think but like i said didn't didn't look it up in any particular detail okay, so that gives us five of those one two three four five of those and then these are super expensive, so probably not buying any of this other crap. 
we have antidote drinks we should right mm, no really okay well how much are bombs they're 80 bombs are expensive too oh boy all right well let's buy oh shit that's also 80 um guess we're not buying any oh we need food holy crap okay well we got at least three foods all right, well, I guess that's gonna have to be good enough. Hopefully we don't run into any, whatchamacallits, any, any poisonous things anytime soon. And then, let's go to Matataki and see, see what's up there. Bergamot, yeah, that was it. That was the type of orange or whatever wild turkey 101 that's what i got just a little bit of but i love that shit man <laughs> like i don't know how like actual whiskey people feel about it but i freaking like it man it's <laughs> it's the best whiskey i've ever personally had or my favorite whiskey that i've ever personally had i'm a big fan I'm guessing that's going to be the next companion character. Gross. <laughs> to be fair, though, Noodle, you just don't like whiskey at all. So, like, <laughs> it's not it's not really fair to get your opinion on it, you know? You just hate all of them. At least all of them that you've tried. And likely you're just going to hate all of them. Okay. Yeah, so we can edit this one as well like put stuff here what is this is that their dungeon maybe that's their dungeon there so I feel like we should be connecting all of these rivers is that what the river that we collected before before was for anyways <laughs> no it doesn't seem like we can use things from one place in another place right I'm, ass I'm assuming no yeah no because we do have one river available and no we can't um okay well let's go here what is what is this that is nothing okay I'm guessing this is the fishing pond although it's gonna be dried up until we get a river over to it. That would make sense. It gives some use to like the rivers and things, so that's pretty cool. What is this? Okay, well, it's going somewhere. Something really like the aftertaste of. You don't remember what it was though? I have no idea. Was it something we tried together or like something that you tried before? Need a little bit of a little bit of context, a little bit of help here. I don't know, love. <laughs> oh. Treant and its current state is helpless without water. Okay, so yeah, so we need to get the rivers. That seems like the main thing here. Get the river going. We get water to this dude. To the fishing hole, all that stuff. Even though it seems unlikely we'll be doing any fishing in the game. <laughs> ever again. I think our fishing days are over already. Without water, it seems like speaking is difficult for it. Stream, you on your own must connect the river that was cut off here at the Matataki village to revive Trian. Trian will then surely aid you in your quest. It's a village which I saved with Atla. The village can be revived if the Atla can be found. The Atla war probably scattered around the wise owl forest. You can enter the forest by opening the gate. I will open the gate for you. Go and see what you can find. Listen, stream, make the river your priority. Connect the river to save Trian. Got it? You got it, boss. So if he hates humans so much, I wonder what his angle is here. Is he secretly trying to destroy the world too? <laughs> Actually not on our side at all. I have a nail that's really bugging me. Uh, it like broke the yesterday, I think at work, maybe the day before. I don't know. So now it's like super crooked. I just want to, I'll do the rest later. 
but I really wanted to get rid of that one. Do you remember anything about the alcohol? That you really like the the aftertaste of? Was it was it like a type of vodka or it definitely would have been beer because you don't like any beer. Wine? Was it one of the wines that we had? I don't know, man. Could be anything. Territory one. Oh you know what I just realized? <laughs> We didn't fix any of our stuff, so all that repair powder that we bought is pretty much going to have to go straight to repairing things. Uh, hold on. Wait, his is at 51. Did we get, a, like, a full heal? No. Oh, she's still thirsty, even. It didn't even, like, heal her thirst for us. Uh, here, you can have a single drink. It's fine. And then, just to clear up some inventory space, we'll do that. And then... Yeah, like I said, I think I'm just going to leave her weapon broken. And just use it as a crappy but free weapon. I'm glad we get to change a scenery here. That it's not always going to be that same cannibal plant. Can you move? No, you can't move. This... <laughs> Okay, so it's free to kill using using her weapon. Maybe it's not as good of an idea as I thought. Because, like, dealing one damage really freaking sucks. How much does this do? 15. Significantly more, yeah. Hmm, okay, well. Repair. And then... We can't let your dagger break either. So we did actually upgrade it a couple of times. Um, no, I want to switch people. I want to see what these things actually do if you get close to them. And gooey state. Okay, so that's what the gooey state thing is. That the, that the soap clears out. I wonder how long the goo lasts for. Is it forever or temporary? I'm assuming it's... A, uh, actually, I don't know. I was going to say I'm assuming it's a temporary status effect. But then I thought about it and like the poison, I'm pretty sure, is a permanent effect. So, yeah, it's probably garbage. What is this? It's like the keyhole of this door. Okay. But is that like the key to leave or is that just an alternate area for us to explore um oh there's a dude seems like it wants something okay so that must be the other one's the alternate area that's the way down I'm pretty sure There's a well over here. I wonder if the well clears goo. Or not well, but spring, whatever. Did that say Earth B? Anyways, um, it's a giant pool of water, so it makes sense if you could wash the goo off. Uh, sadly, that's a no. Annoying, but fine. You can deal. It'd be nice if, like, when we... If there were... Just if there was some way to clear status effects in general, I guess, other than using weapons. Wednesday? What's the other one's name? Friday? Okay. <laughs> I was, I was going to make some stupid joke about it being like Thursday or something, but I was like, ah, that's stupid. There's no way they're all just named after the days of the week. Maybe they are, though. <laughs> Ancient Baron. He. Wish we had a uh, quick key, a quick key to switch between people. Ah, okay. There's a key, a mustache key. So that probably opens the door. Excuse me, sir. Do you wanna not dodge my bullets?
Until we find a weapon for him, though, I feel like he's going to be somewhat useless. Laundry. Fine. Weapon, please? Nope. A prickly. Mm, really don't care about the pricklies, but... Uh, it's something, I suppose. Okay, and... I can, I think, use... Yeah. Goo. Clear the goo. That's getting too annoying. Being gooified. So, if it's just the cannibal plants that goo us, though, then I'll just remember to try and, like, only fight them ranged, basically. Oh. <sighs> Oh, Jaw's getting tired. <laughs> I can make it, though. It's only an hour and a half left. We got this. Did that say poo or pow? I'm hoping it said pow, but, but it might have said poo. I... Mm, it, 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 ha it, said, it said pow. It had to have. Gooey peach. Is that food, or is that another... Whatchamacallit? Uh, another fishing thing. Oh, it's an attack thing. Okay. Now, some attack things can also be used as fish bait. I saw that when I was reading the, the FAQ for them. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try fighting one of these guys with him. Okay, they're not that bad. I don't know how, like, hard they hit, though. That could still be a massive pain. A red berry. Say some wise owls mainly eat this nut. Okay, so that's how we go to the next floor. Mellow banana, that is, I believe, food? Yes. And it can also be used as bait. Um, what we'll to take a guess. We don't have any treasure chest keys, right? Nope. Let's take a guess. I think it's a uh, explosion. Trap was poison. That's fine. Um, is it the same thing? Okay. <gasps> Let's freaking go, dude! Okay, weapon. I'm so happy. <laughs> it sucks. Oh my god. Why does it suck? It only has an attack of 8, speed of 60, endurance of 20, MP of 4. It's literally worse in every way than our dagger plus 2. Bro. <laughs> that is... That is a sad day right there. Okay, so it needs fire, thunder... Honestly, I feel like we're still too early to really care about this stuff. But it needs fire and thunder and basic upgrades. Um, sure, give you more attack. Give you some speed. And then we'll work on upgrading it, I guess. Equip. I'm so sad right now <laughs> that it sucks so much. Um, and we didn't have any antidotes, right? Yeah, no. No antidotes. Oh, uh, hold on. Throw this stuff in there to save us some inventory space. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, you get gooey. I don't want to get close to you. That was so dumb. Way to waste that. One of you guys want to drop an antidote, maybe? <laughs> that would be very handy, honestly. Especially because now that he has an actual weapon weapon, I want to, like, upgrade it. But I can't. switching back and forth between people is annoying. Yeah, whatever. We're passing a thing up here anyways. We'll just take a quick stop at the, at the spring, fountain, whatever you want to call it. We take four points of damage, I just realized, per, like, tick of poison. I guess it is worth just switching out. Um, okay. 
So is that like one of the death doors or is that the B side to, to this dungeon? Um, I was gonna say, can't she cross these gaps? I'm not trying to jump it, I'm trying to attack this dude. Damn, look at 20 damage. Okay, well, we're dying. <laughs> Block their attacks. Wait, what was the the block button? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, we're gonna use all of our food. Is it square? Nope, that uses water. That was pointless. Circle. What is block? For okay, just stop drinking stuff, you dummy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I hate literally everything. Pointy chestnut, okay. We do we no okay, no, we don't need him. Ah, uh, this is the B side here, okay. That must be like the equivalent of a death door. Uh oh, we don't have any keys, duh. Um, poison. Cool. Ooh, another new sword. Sax? What is... This one's actually okay! 26 attack, endurance of 40, speed of 50, MP of 15. Okay! That's that's an actual upgrade for us. That's exciting. That that does something for us, at least. So, I'm I'm happy about that. Uh, too bad he's dead, and as far as I know, there's no way, I don't think we can feed him while he's dead, right? Yeah, no. Do we have, like, revive powder? Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming we have to use that. Maybe one of the, the springs or something would have done the same job, I don't know. Okay, he can't... Jump the gaps, use her. And then we should really figure out how to block before we get into another encounter. Problem is you might only be, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. You might only be able to block when, uh, you know, that's probably it. You probably have to be locked on and then it's L1 or R1. That actually makes a lot of sense. I bet you it's something along those lines. Uh, key, 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 key. What kind of enemy are you? Hmm, you're a dick. Nope, okay, switching. Um, excuse me? Game? There we go. I guess, was it hitting the chest? Ah, okay, Friday's quick. Yeah, see, like, it, blocking just doesn't work, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand it. Like, like, yeah, you can do it, but it doesn't do anything. You still seem to take full damage. They say wise owls love shiny things? Say some wise owls mainly eat this nut. Huh? So wait, do we have to give the owl two things to be able to continue? Interesting. Maybe like some owls only like one and some owls only like the other? But then I guess why would it give us both on the same floor? Earth A. Um, we need to heal or we're gonna end up dying again. I hate using like good food, but. Ah, 
Alright, and... I guess we'll see what this thing up here does first. This pad. Decreased! Okay! That's not what we needed, man. Uh, the repair. And then we'll go ahead and switch to this one. What do you need for your upgrades? You have three upgrade slots, which is nice. Oh, wait, no. A build up. Attack speed MP. Ice wind holy and a bunch of stuff. So you just need a bunch of stuff. Ice wind holy. Holy. Wind. And I'm pretty sure MP was on that list, so. There you go. You can have all of those things. I said to the owl now. Let's see if he needs two things, one thing. None of the things. Where? Oh, he's right here. Here. You. Uh, so what happens if I give you the red berry? No. Did you still take it, though? You did still take it. No. Wait. Huh? Oh, I forgot about the pointy chestnut. Said to be Wise Owl's favorite. Oh. I'm still confused on whether we have to give them all three, though, or, like... If just giving him one or two would have worked. Like, if we just gave him the pointy nut, I wonder if that would have been good enough, you know? And he would have let us through, and then we could have carried the other ones through with us to the next floor. I don't know, man. Sorry, I need to stretch a little bit. Holy crap. Okay. It's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm alive. Uh, I need to plug my headphones in, though, because they are dying, and, oh my god, I'm stuck. There we go. Chase, what's up, man? Seems like the owl and I have something in common. Wait, that you like pointy nuts? I'm <laughs> confused, man. Is that, is that what's going on? Everybody's got their thing, I guess. I I ain't here to judge. You can, you can like whatever kind of nut you like, man. Personally, I'm a fan of, like, pistachios, you know? Pistachios are pretty good nuts, but... If you like yours pointy, then get you some pointy nuts, my guy. Why not? What did we get? We got earth. What is... What is the earth? Oh, is it, like, literally just... Oh... Okay. What do we what do we want these for though? Are these Do people live here? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh I mean we can move it later, so let's just plop it down here. And then Well, okay. No, it, it takes nothing. It's just... Can we put other stuff on top of it? Oh, we can. Okay. That's fine then, I guess. Forgot there was this whole section over here, too. Um... Uh, I don't know. Let's put... Let's put a well here. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, man. This is... This, this place is weird. Almonds are pointy? Are they? <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of what almonds look like right now. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so tired. I don't know what's going on. It's weird that we can put this like over the edge of the water there. Wait, can we literally stack them on top of each other? No, okay. <laughs> um... Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. I'm just going to put it here. And we're going to call that fine. Okay, now for the well, we need one of these. We need a bucket. What is that? That's not this. That doesn't look right. No. We have Ancient Baron. Pow. 
and some laundry, but we don't have your houses unlocked yet, and sadly we didn't get a single river section in there. So we can't even start to actually, like, rebuild this place. I wonder if, um... Like, this place will get its own shopkeep and everything, too? To give us access to more stuff? And we only have 58... coins. I mean, our health is fine. Our weapon durability is getting low, but it's not that bad. Uh, we still have a couple food, couple water. Yeah, I think we're I think we're okay to do another another floor of the dungeon. Oh, not other area. If we don't, damn it! If we don't die this time, then we'll probably actually be pretty good, money wise. It's annoying it doesn't let me teleport to the dungeon on this map. Or at least not from where we're at. It's always a little weird. Okay. Floor 2! Of the Wise Owl Forest. Or Territory 2, sorry. Using our new weapon, the best one we currently have for him. I'm not convinced it's amazing, but it's better than nothing. Got a stairway, that's nice. So I think we needed that for the well. Map right off the bat, that's also nice. Um, it's a little hard to see, isn't there? A, I think there's a way to change the opacity on it, but whatever. <laughs> it's not like we need it, need it? Porch. Meh. I'd much rather honestly have the like spirit stone or whatever it's called the thing that lets us see where all of the stuff is the Zelda equivalent of a compass oh Tuesday shoot stuff okay that's new all right yeah that's actually not terrible this weapon Fleefly? My Fleefly, as long as you don't make me gooey, I won't hate you. <laughs> the, the, the people that goo on me, though, they can just die, man. That's rude, honestly. Basic chest. So I'm guessing we only get weapons from the big chests. That is fishing bait. So at some point, we need to stop back at the old lady's place and drop off all the fishing stuff. I don't want to get rid of it in case I do decide at some point to try the fishing again. Because some of the stuff you can get from the, the fishing points, the FP, does seem pretty good. Um, or just, like, useful at least. And then that one weapon or whatever it was, I'm guessing it's it's good. Just, I mean, like, it's there, you know, and it's, <laughs> it's, it's like an optional thing through fishing. I feel like it'd be pretty good, plus it's expensive. Magic power plus one, that's, uh, that's a thing. So are you the same wise owl as before? But you did take all of our other stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Cannibal plant, nope. You're not doing on me today, my guy. We gotta make sure not to break our weapon. I started just shooting without, like, thinking at all. And that's how we end up in a bad spot. Regular water. Nope, thank you. Who's day? Who's day down? What is today? Today's Wednesday, okay. Lulu. I'm assuming that's another villager. Give me some river, man. Even if it's not enough to, like, get the tree fixed right away. Thank you. Just 
adding some would be nice. I wonder what Monday does. I feel like Monday's poisonous for some reason. What's the dot? I mean, whatever. I guess our thirst was running low. But, like, there's a good chance we just find a spring here somewhere. Yeah, in fact, I can see one on the south side of the map. I'm a little upset that I did that. I was trying to figure out how to dodge, because I'm pretty sure there is a dodge. But again, everything only works when you're locked on to people. It's kind of hard to say for sure. I can't remember the things we learned last week. We still haven't gotten anything for the owl, so we definitely have to keep exploring. We would anyways, though, to get all the atlas collected. Leafly, you suck. Hannah Montana? Wait, I didn't even end up buying that one, did I? I mean, it can go as a vote for a game to buy. It's just... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I skipped it, right? Monsters, Inc., though, that is one that I ended up picking up for sure. No? No, I didn't buy it, or... Okay, but to buy. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. We go on the list. I'm fairly certain it's gonna be a garbage game, <laughs> to be fair, but, like... <laughs> gotta buy it sooner or later. I almost bought, instead of, like, the stack of games that I got today... I almost bought the entire collection of SingStar. <laughs> Like, every SingStar game for the PS2. There's a good chance, I mean, unless he ends up selling it down at the game shop, there's a good chance I do end up getting it here soon. Um, see, it, uh, said to be wise, I was favorites, okay. Think there's one more Shrek to play? Yes. Um, the Shrek fighting game, which apparently is actually like a good game from what I've seen online. Ice gem. That's probably another damaging thing. I don't want to feed him, so I'm going to switch to Zhao. Let her get a little bit of XP for, for a moment. What I almost buy? Well, there was actually a couple things that I almost bought. I almost bought Alucard 1 and 2, or not Alucard, Alundra 1 and 2 for uh, the PS1. Um but I wasn't a huge fan of the condition of the first one. And it's a very expensive game. They did offer me a good deal on it. So like, it wouldn't have been the end of the world, I guess, but still, I just, if I'm gonna buy a game that's worth that much money, I want it to be one that's actually in pretty good condition, you know? So I passed up on those. Plus they weren't even part of the collection, but it was like birthday present stuff from Noodle, so. Like, it didn't really matter to me that much if I got PS2 or just stuff I wanted in general. Uh, Parasite Eve for the PS1 is another one that I considered buying, but didn't. And then the last thing that I considered buying, but didn't get, was the entire SingStar collection. <laughs> so the, the karaoke games, basically, for PS2. It was like every SingStar game that had released on the PS2. Along with a couple of, uh, two microphones, I think, and an eye toy. That's actually how the eye toy came up, and, uh, he ended up giving one to me was because I mentioned that was one of the reasons why I, why I was considering buying it is because I needed an eye toy anyways, and even though they're not worth that much, he had it, like, mixed in as part of the collection, and it was like, well, that's just another bonus, you know? All these games that I need, and an eye toy, which is something that I need, so. But anyways, didn't end up getting any of that stuff. Instead, I just got a stack of PS2 games. Um, some stuff that I'm somewhat interested in, other things that, you know, we just needed them for the collection. Noodle is voting away, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Do it, man. Do all the votes. I love it. Uh, if you weren't here earlier, though, what I did actually end up buying... Well, it's at the beginning of the VOD, but also Onimusha 3 was like the biggest thing. There was a fishing game that apparently is somewhat uncommon to find sold, like in, in stores or up for auction or whatever, uh, at least according to another PS2 collector. Um, it was cheap anyway, so I decided to go ahead and get it. And um, I don't know, I don't think there was anything like good that I got? Oh, I, I got the, uh, 
a couple more Crash Bandicoot games, but I, I'm not a huge Crash person, so that one was whatever to me. It was just like, need it for the collection, so might as well pick it up, you know? One of them sort of deals. Yes, we were looking at that same fishing game last time too, so. That was another reason why I was like, yeah, I might as well get it. Can't remember the name of it exactly, like Katoko, Katow Cow? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. I have them all over here next to me, but oh, and then the thing I actually cared about was Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. I picked that up and uh, I don't know for sure if that's what the version we're gonna end up playing on stream or anything, but but I but I personally have been wanting that one to play through, so so I picked it up too, and yeah, that's what we got. So nothing crazy, but still. All right, so we're gonna try it differently this time. We're just gonna go straight for the pointy nut. Okay, yeah, so we have to give them all three, it seems like. Either that or it's completely random every time. And we just have not gotten lucky at all. Oh. Okay, yeah, so it must be completely random. Now, did we keep the other item? So, like, if that's the case, in theory, we could just, like, skip the next dungeon or the next level of the dungeon as soon as we find the end, without even having to kill people, but... Where's the fun in that, though? Kokotot, maybe? I don't remember. Chocobo, what's up, man? Are you back? I couldn't remember the exact date you said, but I knew it was... around now? <laughs> for some reason, I thought you said the 24th or the 26th, but... but I can't remember for sure. Okay, we needed stairs for this and we still need a bucket which we haven't gotten yet okay uh river though let's go you are back congrats man two three four five it's not enough we need a lot of river I hope you uh I hope you enjoy your short drive. <laughs> Not having to drive nearly as far anymore. That should be good for you. Okay, so we're collecting all these people, but but we literally can't put them down yet. That's kind of annoying, actually. Oh god. I'm fucking dying, dude. Um How's our situation? We haven't used that much repair powder or anything. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and try doing another... Another floor. Another territory, whatever they want to call it in this one. Oh, I did also get my fancy memory card too. I just haven't had the chance to update it yet. <clears throat> and uh, I want to buy a 128 gig SD card. Because the way the fancy memory card works, for every game it creates 8 memory cards eight full-size memory cards um so i did the math and eight megabytes times eight times 1801 games should be like 123 gigabytes or something like that of data so 128 gig sd card should give me enough space to have eight memory cards for every ps2 game and then still have a good few left over if i wanted to do like any homebrew or um ROM hacks, the uh, general use memory cards, any anything weird like that. Now, if we find the owl, I am going to feed it to him right away. Just me or did that dude just like teleport around, man? Anyways, I am going to give him the berry real quick and see if he opens the door. I'm still going to explore the whole floor first, but just to appease my own curiosity. Oh, that's what was teleporting all over the place. There's like... What is this thing called? It does a lot of damage. Is that a King Picky? I did not see what it said. Uh, we need to repair powder though. Very good. Uh, we have one more repair powder left still. We should be 
I'm, yeah, we should be good. I think it'll be fine. We do have, like, upgrade powder. We could just force an upgrade early on it, but... I feel like that's probably better to do later in the upgrade cycle. I don't know if they continue to get harder and harder to upgrade as time goes on, or if it's just... Oh, King Prickly. Um, or if it's just, like, based off of whatever level they currently are. I have no idea how it works, but... What's a Sunday? I think this is our first Sunday that we fought. <laughs> it's weird that all these dudes are named after days of the week, man. Damn you. <laughs> oh my god. I hate everything, man. I'm so bad at this stupid game. Um, do we have any food? No, we are out of food, okay. Definitely gonna have to go and buy food soon, at least. Ah, uh, my eye itches. Okay. Okay, drop down. Yeah, just attack him before he has a chance to attack. Honestly, that seems more or less like the strat for everybody. Just, if you can attack them before they get a chance to attack, you're good. Because they get stunned, and then you can just combo them, and yeah. Entrance. The f is the entrance. Can you... What? <laughs> I'm thinking it's like a placeable thing, but maybe it's just an item for like a house or something like that. I think that would make a little more sense, actually. Okay, Mr. Al. So if I had fed you, like gone this way and then fed you a berry... Oh, did the berry despawn like when we left? Okay, that's fine. That makes sense. But the pointy nut was all that we needed to actually get through here. So if we wanted to, we could just go straight down. It is, it's also a free way out that we don't have to spend anything on, so... Like, if, if things get rough here, then we have that, which is nice, I guess. I mean, we are out of food, so there is a decent chance that things start to get rough, but... I think we'll be okay. Stairway acquired, cool. Funds decreased a little. Straight up just stole my money, man. I'm trying to save that stuff. I need food. That's actually really food. <laughs> I don't... Like, wow. Annie, that's gonna be another person, I imagine. Another person without a home. I wonder, like, if we ever get weapons with longer reach. Our reach kind of sucks. Our reach and our block. Our block is literally useless. And our reach is just garbage. got a bridge uh, that's cool I guess um I mean it makes getting around rivers a little bit easier I was gonna say something oh I ended up playing a uh, Grandia I haven't like finished it or anything but uh I did look it up on the PlayStation Store and download it and I played a couple hours of it I didn't get super far or anything but it feels oh they steal money okay they give it back though once we kill them that's fine um, yeah, no, it wasn't bad or anything, but it doesn't definitely feels a bit dated to me personally. Is there? I guess we haven't gotten the map on this one yet. Uh, I do plan on finishing it though, as long as it's not like super, super long. So I, I enjoy it, it's just like the menu system feels kind of bad. <laughs> and I really, I do really like the way it looks though. With, like, the 2D sprites and the 3D world and everything. That's the sort of thing that I've wanted to do myself before in the past. 
So like, yeah. Yeah, I saw <laughs> when I was, uh, since I started playing it a bit, I looked it up on YouTube. Specifically, I was looking for a speed run, but there wasn't like a good speed run of it. Everything was like capped at 360p that I could find, and I just did not want to deal with that. Uh, but anyways, I, uh, saw a bunch of like reviews pop up and about it being like a hidden gem and, um, just like one of the most influential RPGs of all time, one of the best RPGs of all time, all that sort of stuff, so... From what I've played of it so far, it's okay. Very slow opening on it, uh, but other than that, it's it seems fine. But again, I've only played the first couple of hours. I basically got to the point to where I could do combat, did a little bit of combat, and then, um, and then that's where I had to stop at, because I was falling asleep and I needed a nap. <laughs> As is so often the case with me, man. I just, I need sleep. You wanna drop down, Mr. Prickly thing? Uh, you're ready for an upgrade, okay. Do you have stuff on you? You do not. What do you need to upgrade? Or to like, get better? Attack, endurance, speed, and a couple different creature types. Attack Endurance Speed and other creature types. What do we have available to us? I think MP is the one thing it didn't need. Okay, well that kind of makes me not want to upgrade it yet. It would increase its attack a tiny bit, but honestly most of the upgrade comes from the stuff you put in it anyways. Um... I mean, I'm not going to get it to the point that it's going to be able to build up anyways. That seems very unlikely. So let's just put some crap on it. Upgrade it. And then whenever I then break it down into something to put on something else, it'll just be that much better. Yeah, I, th I think that was the right move. I just realized her weapons have like no MP. I wonder if that's just something about her, like she doesn't get magic or something. I don't know, though. I am excited to see what the second one's like um, for Grandia. Because I'm hoping since it was a PS2 game... Because the, the first one, Grandia, it was originally... What, like a... Was it a Sega Genesis game? It might have been a Sega Saturn game. But regardless, it was like, you know, it's an older game. And I'm pretty sure that Grandia 2 was a, like, made-for-PS2 game. I'm pretty sure. So I'm just hoping it'll have, like, more quality-of-life features for... that we're used to in the, in the modern age. And for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, like, menus are a huge thing for me in... in RPGs and stuff like that. It's one of the reasons why, like, I don't play that much WoW, or never got that into WoW. Because honestly, the menus just kind of suck. <laughs> it's like one of the, to, to, to me, for somebody who like never grew up with the game or anything, you know? Um, yeah, it's just one of those things I just can't seem to get past enough to really care to want to play it, play it. That's kind of the feeling I'm getting from Grandia too, but I'm going to force myself through it, because it's not that bad, it's just meh. It's iffy, that's all. I really wish the game store had had Onimusha 2. Well, okay, they did have it, but I wish they had a complete inbox copy of it, because after playing the first one, man, I want to play more of those games now. I would have loved to pick it up, but... Oh well, next time, or online. There's always online, too. They're not expensive games or anything, so... Shouldn't be that hard to find later if I, uh... I really get an itch for it. Plus, I still have to finish the first one. I haven't even beaten it yet. It's not that big of a deal. I just, I, I just buy things. Um, need water. I'm hoping to find a thing. Okay, we are gonna leave the dungeon. We'll put down whatever we can. We are also gonna go drop off our fishing crap at the old hag, and uh, tr buy some food. How are we on repair powder and stuff? Yeah, okay, so we need food and repair powder. We have one repair powder. 
No food. We do have three drink with... Whenever you, like, consider that there's also... The, uh, the hot springs that you can find. That's probably fine, honestly. We can put down a water mill. Does that go on the water? No. Does it go next to water? Maybe? Uh, oh, it does go on the river. Okay, well, I don't like you here. I <laughs> just... I didn't realize you actually went on the river. Um... Can I not put it on this one because... of it not being filled yet. That makes sense, I guess. Screw it, just to get it down then, I will go ahead and put it over here. I'm gonna put it like here though. I really don't like these just mounds of earth. They're so freaking big, man. I guess I guess you can go over here. And then... This one the same size. Might even be bigger. I'm tempted to put it over here too. But I feel like it should be separated a bit. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna leave it over here where I had it, I guess. Uh, is there anything else we have that we can put down? Put down a bridge. Or not. Oh, yeah, okay, it just doesn't show it. Sure, there and there. Can we put one there? No. Save the other ones. Okay, and for the water mill, we need a torch, it looks like, and some sort of wheel. Entrance to the wise old sh owl, the wise owl shop, okay. So, there is a new shop that we can unlock. Man, it really, like, screws you with the, the atla that you get here. Like, we have these buildings, but we literally can't finish them. We have all these people, but we can't put any of them down. wonder if it is random. We should probably save. We'll do that. They exist. Replace. Yes, please. Many thank. And walk. Oh, shoot. Um... Don't walk. Go to other area. I was literally just saying we need to... Oh, that's why there's no, like, go to dungeon option. We can just do it right from here now, from the, uh, from the map. Okay. That's fine, then. That makes sense. That's not bad. sell do we have anything to sell probably not i'm still wondering like that fish that we got the uh what was it was it a rotten fish i don't remember i know i gave it to the old lady i wonder if that's its only point is to sell but i think it only sold for like one gold maybe Ooh, chest root of eden that does something for us this is max health. Okay, she's gonna be staying away from people for the most part. So I feel like it should go to him. Because he's gonna be up on people more. I still wanna I should have given it to her just because I want her to be up to 80. It just feels wrong her being like at whatever. You get really good weapon or really good weapons, really good items exploring around. What's your... okay. Your thirst level is pretty good. We'll give it to you. It also counted as a full, full refill on that. I hate, like, the idea of having to search the town every time we do another 
level of the dungeon, though, to find the good stuff. Cheese? Um, no. Cheese isn't one of the good things. But, like, that's that's literally how you get the stat boosts for your character, you know? It's just walking around town, checking out all the houses and things. I guess we... Hmm, what I'll probably do is, like, every five floors or something, maybe. Just start checking. Well, free repair powder's nice. Another gourd? Um... I guess we give that to her as well? Right, because we're at... One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what the max is. She's only at five. I was tempted to give it to him just for the free refill on, on drink, but... Nah, that's fine. Stop at the old hags next, because I want to drop some stuff off, even though... I guess saving her for last would be a decent strat, because... If there's anything we pick up that we don't need, we'd be throwing it in here. But, eh, uh, whatever. Oh, no, uh... Please save Dran, huh? What was your request again? See, about a magic is in Dran's windmill. It's strange, but if you stand near it, you feel full of energy. I'd like my house in front of Dran's windmill blades. Um, do we actually get anything, like any bonus, I wonder, from putting them where they want to be? I feel like it's more or less useless. Magical do to speed up plant growth. I'm sure that'll be important at some point, but for now it means nothing to me. That's food, food, okay. Food, food's nice. Any of this stuff useless to me? Stone with freezing power, nope. I don't know, a banana, stand in, escape, repair. Grand's feather, repair powder, okay. We can't like store this, can we? No. I didn't think we'd be able to. Oh, we can store those. Interesting. Oh, you know, we probably can store weapons, just not the uh, the basic one. The infinite weapon. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Fluffy donut. Was that Jao's favorite food? What is... Oh, oh, that's my favorite food? I mean, I I do like donuts, don't get me wrong. I did not realize it was my favorite food in-game, though. I thought it was something else for some reason. I just don't remember ever seeing fluffy donuts before. Okay, I don't see anything. Wasn't there still, like, a locked door up here or something? Yeah, this one. I guess it's not locked. We just can't interact with it in any way, which still feels odd. Because, you know, it's there. Why put a door if you can't do anything with it? In this sort of game. It's not like you needed it there for the immersion. And you checking every house. I wish we could just pause time entirely. <laughs> Gives you the option to speed it up, make it go even faster, but... Or even if it just let us skip the cutscene every time it changes from day to dusk to night to dawn or whatever. <laughs> Fuck. I'm dying. Oh my god, okay. Deep breaths. I need some smelling salts. <laughs> That's a, I'm just gonna buy some smelling salts. Start start sniffing them in the middle of stream whenever I'm passing out. That's <laughs> that should wake me up. I actually I'm I am actually tempted to do it. I don't know how much they are. I feel like they can't be all that expensive though. I might do it just for if nothing else than for the walls, you know. Plus, noodles never actually smelled smelling salts before, so 
I think it'd be funny to have her do it. <laughs> they are god awful. It's a real shock though, whenever, you know, you break it and give it a good give it a good sniff and <laughs> Ooh buddy. Doesn't look like you can climb up, but we can't switch characters here though, right? No. Okay. Which is another one of those things that still just seems really weird. Like, we should be able to do something there, but we can't. No? <laughs> just a little sniff, love, that's all. I'm not saying you gotta, like, take a, a, I don't know, take a deep ass inhale or anything. Just, just to try it. You might as well. It doesn't hurt or anything like that. It's just very strong. It gives you a, it gives you a real shock in the system. <laughs> You're so against it. Nine? <laughs> Are you <laughs> German, but you forgot how to spell? What is... <laughs> oh, God. That's fine. I'm not going to force you to do it. Besides, I can just wait until you're sleeping and, <laughs> and break one open. <laughs> Next time, next time you're mean to me, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna wait until you fall asleep and break one open and <laughs> put it under your nose. Oh god. <laughs> I'm moving out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now I have to do it. I hope you know. Like, now I have no choice but to do it. Because, <laughs> like, it's just too funny now. Oh god. Sorry. I'm tired. When I'm tired, stupid things are extra funny to me. So, like, <laughs> it's a bad time to argue. Because now I just really want to do it. Like, before it was a joke, but now I want to do it. <laughs> I think our house and the mayor's house are the last two places to go. And then we can uh, go to the old gaffer, sell and or buy some shit, and get back to the actual like fun part of the game like no <laughs> officer i have no idea how he fell on this knife six times <laughs> no freaking clue he just kept getting up man he kept getting up and then like he was woozy from the first time and then he would fall and i tried to tell him to stay down but he just wouldn't do it <laughs> oh god have you <laughs> have you ever smelled smelling salts before chocobo they're uh they're wonderful <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like, if you don't want to do coke, it's a great way to wake yourself up. That's all I'm saying, man. It'll it'll get you going for a minute or two. It really is like a short-lived thing, though. It's just a shock. Like, it really, it's just like, it's just so strong. It just gives you a shock to the head and then, like, it's over. It's not like they're drugs or anything, you know? It's just, it's just intense. It's just... Uh, you have not? That's fair. I mean, like, if you're not doing sports and getting knocked out or whatever, then I guess there's not really much reason to. Although some people will do them, like, whenever they lift and things like that, to give them a, a burst of energy before, um, like, going for a PB or something. But I've never done it for that. To be honest, I don't even remember, like, why we had them. But, like, pocket? Um, but yeah, we had some and so, of course, gonna try it. Not gonna just not try it. Did that give us more pocket space? Allows carrying more items, yeah. I mean, we share pocket space, so I guess it doesn't matter who gets it. <laughs> Someone hitting you with smelling salts while on the brink of death, yes. That's, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the usual reason for it, at least, right? That's, <laughs> that's what Noodle's gonna do after she murders me, too. Just <laughs> gonna take them to work, make everyone smell them if they haven't? Yes. <laughs> It'll really get the crew moving, man. It'll make sure everybody's doing their job, you know? Oh, you're tired? You don't feel good today? Here you go. This will get you up and going again. <laughs> get those fucking boxes stocked, bro. We ain't got time for your shit. <laughs> it's good stuff, man. Uh, store. Open. Yes. Okay, is there anything I want to sell? Probably not. 
We need food. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we have a couple drinks. I'll just buy a couple. And then... How much is attack up? 300. Oh, they're so expensive. Um, how much repair powder? We only have, what, one? Two. We have two repair powders left. I think... Buy an antidote. Oh shit, I don't have enough for soap. I was gonna just get like a little bit of all of the recovery stuff. It's like it's super annoying annoying when we can't do that. Poor Lili. I I don't know. I think Lili will like it. It'll be fine. <laughs> it came from a store with zero pallets on the floor? Wait. Do you mean like they were just that good that there was never any pallets on the floor? Or do you mean they had a pal up uh, palacy? <laughs> A policy where you weren't allowed to have pallets on the floor. Either one's wild to me. Like, at our store, there's always pallets on the floor, man. Uh, food can go up there. Oh, shit. We were actually better on food than I thought, but that's fine. Oh, that's right. We've been, like, collecting it as we've been walking around. That's why. Yeah, whatever. And then, I guess that's it. Save again so we don't have to do that again. And then open the map and get back to the dungeon crawling. Um, walk and go to the other area. There we go. Oh, you mean back room floor. Okay, 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 okay. I see what you're saying. I thought you were talking about like sales floor. Yeah. <laughs> Ours hasn't been great lately. I concur. It's, uh, they've been doing, de oh, is this a boss floor? They've been doing decent at keeping the floor clear, but we just had a, a two-truck night, what, like the night before last, something like that, so. Oh. It's another Zhao floor. I mean, at least she's not terrible now. It's not the end of the world, and we just got some repair powder, I think. Like, we should be fine. It's just annoying that we're not going to get any Atla for doing this floor. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I see what you're saying. That <laughs> It's something that, uh, that we could definitely do better as a store and as a whole. They didn't even have any in the steel. Now, that's wild to me. Like, yeah. <laughs> we, our top steel is basically full. Oh, we got our map already. Okay. Is there... Oh, our water's full. Never mind. I was looking to see if there was a... Uh, whatchamacallit anywhere. A hot spring. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and use that repair powder, I think. we customize you yet? We did not. What do you need? I mean... See, I really want to upgrade his more than hers, though. So I think, like, I'll save the attack. I'll give you one endurance, maybe? And just some random thing. So I don't really care about going for the, the right things right now, because... I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade them enough for it to matter right from the start anyways. I think we're going to need to, like, get a couple upgraded all the way, break them down into the, the spheres, whatever they're called, and then we'll be able to actually do something useful with them. Um, it's an explosion. Let's go. I haven't had a curse trap yet. I'm hoping it stays that way. Steel slingshot. Huh. Yeah, oddly worse in every way. I mean, granted, this is a plus two, but still. Less endurance, less speed, less attack, a lot less attack. It doesn't have the steel ability, and less uh, MP. 
Yeah, I, so that's gonna be like purely a backup weapon once one starts to break. But then there's the whole thing with like repair powder. Like that's the only way to repair stuff it seems, so you might as well just repair your stuff as soon as it breaks instead of waiting. I would have thought like once you left the dungeon or maybe when you went to the next floor or something, your stuff would repair, but no, nothing like that. You have to use repair powder, it seems. No other way ar around it. Fuck. I thought I was far enough over to use the key. I was not, I just wasted some water. Oh God, hi. Didn't realize you were so close Sunday. Don't let it break. I'm going to try not to. I did so bad, man. I've had like three different weapons break. It's terrible. But no, I'm not I'm not going to let them break again. I've I've decided as soon as I hear the beeping, I'm just going to start repairing stuff. Unless it's the basic weapon. Like her basic weapon is just so garbage that I've decided I literally don't care about it. I'm just going to leave it broken until I get some spheres that, that I can throw on it to upgrade it or something, because, like, upgrade it well. Because, yeah, it, it really sucks the way it is. Like, its only use was infinite ammo during the, the boss fight. Which was super annoying to play with, or to, like, play that way, but... It, it worked, you know, we beat the boss. Hey, we got a nut. Um, do you wanna, do you wanna fall? Where are you? Uh. You're dead. Drop anything? Shiny stone, okay. Oh, you're new. And you're dead. <laughs> Chow really is just like the OP of characters. OP is the characters. Compared to the main dude. The main dude just kind of sucks. I thought she was going to suck, but the first weapon we got for her was just stronger than anything else we found and its range. Like, boy, come on. How are you going to beat that? She hardly ever takes hits because she doesn't have to get close to anything, and she gets the strongest weapon. That's no brainer, man. Oh, hi, King Quickly. Aw, oh, you dick. Prickly acquired? What is that? I'm guessing fish. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. We've got pricklies before. I really wish the items that let us go to the B-side of dungeons were more common, man. That annoys the hell out of me. That, like, we keep finding these places and we can't explore them at all. Okay, it's ready for upgrade. We did customize you, right? Yeah. Upgrade. And then, what did you actually need? Attack, endurance, speed. That's the main thing, and then a bunch of other random crap. I'll give you the endurance one. I'm just gonna give you a random fire thing, cause whatever. And I really wanna upgrade the other dude's stuff is what I wanna put the, the higher tiered parts on, like that endurance plus three. Cause he really just needs help not sucking so much. It especially sucks cause like we had a decent weapon on him. And then I broke it, man. And that was like after I learned better too. I What I didn't realize was that I think it's when somebody's guarding, you do more damage to your weapon. Maybe that was it, I don't remember. But for some reason, like sometimes weapons take a lot more damage than others. And uh, I didn't realize that was a mechanic. So I just kept attacking 
And then whenever the beeping started, I was like, oh, well, it's fine. You know, I have 15 health left. And then suddenly it was just broke after one or two attacks. And that kind of destroyed me a little bit. Uh, might as well go straight to the next floor. Other than spawning some stuff, that floor did nothing for us. Wait. Wait. It's... Okay. Bro, I thought it was another, like, her exclusive floor. I was like, man, come on. I just want some more Atla. I just want to unlock stuff. Funds decrease a little. That's rude. You got a sign. Um, not really what I was hoping for. You customized. You are. Um, instead of wind and holy. Well, what is your attribute right now? Thunder. Yeah, no. So instead of those. I have an Endurance 3 and, a, and an Attack 3. And then we'll upgrade you as soon as we can. A roof? Again, just give me like an actual building game. Somewhere to put all of these roofs and signs and people and whatnot. <sighs> Okay, you know what? I actually did need the water. It's fine. I was so mad for a second, though. Mm, not an item. Weapon. Upgrade. Confirm. Finally added up your stuff for your discount. Get it right. If we don't get anything else, it's like 35-ish. That's not too bad. <clears throat> 35 should be okay. I gonna do? Oh. Couple things. First off, this. Customize. I may not end up leaving these on here, but I see no reason not to put them on there. And then in the item tab, just wanted to resort. Okay, I guess cheese goes after antidote drinks and crap? I don't, I don't know. I thought it was food, so it would go first, but I guess not. We got some chests and stuff. See if we get anything decent. Bucket, that's something we needed to upgrade one of the buildings that we do actually have. That's the wrong button, game! I don't know why I'm yelling at the game. I'm the one that presses the buttons, but... <laughs> just annoyed with myself. So, like... Why is Al entry? Guessing that's more stuff for the Wise Owl shop. Ooh, MP plus three. Does this need an MP upgrade for for its build up? It does actually. Cool. So customize MP three. All right. I'd also love a couple more rivers so we can start moving that river down a bit more. Just feels good to see that like finish out to get full. Good job missing like every swing, dick. I've expected that to be another mimic. This looks like the area mimic would be into me. I don't know. Do you want a strawberry? You do. I mean, I'm not going to go down right away anyways, but it's always nice to have unlocked, you know? Gives us a free runaway as long as we can run away and get back, and get back to here. Regular water. We'll go ahead and equip the regular water. And then... Is there a hot spring on the map anywhere? There is. But we have to get through a lot of enemies to get there. I say we go for it. I think it'll be fun. Okay, we got beeping. Just repair. 
again. Not worth risking it breaking. Just repair it now. I'd rather spend more money on repair powder, powder than to have another decent weapon break on me, man. Go back to square one again and using just the basic dagger plus two or however many upgrades we have on it. I, I think it's plus two. It's not much. I know that much for sure. My god, guys. I think this is going to have to be my last dungeon for the night. Technically, we should have time to do one more, but... I don't think I can stay awake any longer, man. Uh, hi? Haley Holy? I have no idea what you do. You look like a turnip with freaking wings, man. Oh, good job missing that. We were literally attacking at him. It's just, if you're not locked on, sometimes the game's just weird. I'm guessing it's a Z level, like a, a vertical verticality thing, but still, it's just odd. I'm glad this sword only takes damage whenever it hits something. Because, like, the, the slingshot takes damage anytime you shoot it. You're basically, like, using up ammo on it. Oh, we got a house. Um, which makes sense, sure, but... Oh, this is a mimic, ain't it? Or no, that's a blade of grass. Okay. I just I just saw something sticking out of its ass, and I was like, oh, you can actually tell when they're a mimic beforehand? Nope, it's just they put it on top of grass, and it clipped through a little bit. That's all. Stardew Valley? Good choice, Nate. Good choice. Honestly, I'm all for us rolling it, playing through Stardew Valley, but one that's going to be a long one... And, uh, two, I don't think it's gonna be for everybody, but... Fuck it. <laughs> I say we ball. Can I pick that up? Yeah. What kind of murder room doesn't have any enemies in it? That feels really weird. You can see it on the map. It's to the south, like the southernmost section there. But since we have the spirit stone, too, we can see what's in there, and it's it's nothing. Strange. I mean, I guess technically there's not like anything over here either for us, but a single enemy and a, and a hot spring that we would have been passing anyways. Or that we would have passed one of anyways. You're 28 votes from doing a times 25? Nice, man. So wait, if you didn't just now do... We're out of repair powder. That sucks. Uh, okay, change her weapon then to the steel. And then we'll go ahead and change back to bro. Anyways, if you hadn't just done Stardew Valley, you would have had enough then. What I was gonna say. God, guys. Oh boy, I'm fine. Everything's great. Don't mind me. I'm not falling asleep at all. guessing at least one of these is going to be a mimic based off of like and you would have been 27 points short wait what but it cost it cost oh that was the free vote duh my bad man <laughs> i was thinking you did the um the just the normal like 250 point vote yeah that makes that makes a lot of sense don't mind me Anyways, yeah, no, I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna take a nap after this four, and then Final Fantasy VII tonight, man. So I haven't played through the demo. <laughs> if I, if I wake up before midnight from my nap, that's probably what I'll do. Finally play through the demo. Because that should just be the beginning of the game anyways. But why not? Did you get your watch streak points, or do those not, like, is that not a thing anymore? That might give you enough points to get your, your 25 there, Nate. Oh, no. 
No, 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 not Final Fantasy VII original. Final, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth tonight. <laughs> I mean, I'm down to play through the original anytime, but not not tonight. I uh, I originally planned on waiting until tomorrow because I was going to pick up the physical copy and play it then. But uh, I decided to just pick up the physical copy tomorrow and keep it sealed. <laughs> At least for the time being and then just buy the game digitally tonight. Probably I might wait cuz I don't Yeah, you know what I'll probably I don't know man. I might wait to get the physical copy I'm definitely going to get the physical copy. No questions asked there but Like if I'm gonna buy it digitally and play it now anyways, I might as well, well wait for it to go down to like 20 30 bucks or whatever Just makes more sense doing it that way, you know So yeah, I don't know. Regardless though, I'm playing Final Fantasy VII tonight. I'm excited for it. Uh, hold on, we got more river. We can we can do river things. And then I'm assuming that fills all of this up. So now we can just like we got to go all the way over to here, I presume. So I'm gonna just keep going straight. Wait, so, hold on. Uh, okay, you know, we'll finish putting stuff down, but I'm, I'm a little confused on what all of this stuff is around here. Can we put, yes. Let me put stuff on top of here. Oh, it always sits on the side over there. Where's the, the door? I think the door's on that side. Sure, it can go there. That's fine. And then, is that everything? Is everything there? Is it this? A roof? Aha! And then bucket. And then we get one thing completed. It's not even an event thing, but we get it completed. A thing that rotates. Well, I don't think we have one of them. Watch us need like the roof for, for this here. To illuminate the dark. So one of these. A sign. Um... As a cheerful wife has a cheerful hubby. Cheerful old woman. And then... Okay, well I'm guessing that's it. I don't think we have the cheerful hubby. That's the mayor. Kind of a sister. Wears a raccoon mask. Quiet girl. Shrewd lone owl. Yeah, I didn't think so. And then a you... Probably a child, so I don't think you're there. Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. Oh my god, Noodle. <laughs> Noodle <laughs> times 25 on Hannah Montana. Vote on a game nice. X25. Hannah Montana. Garbage. Um, this is not what I expected. Are you a blacksmith? Oh, there's actual, like, working ladders? Okay. Wait, where are you? I definitely put a person here. I mean, I guess they could be out wandering around. They don't have to stay in their home 24-7. I just wanted to know... what the uh, other thing was to put down. Ah, there you are. Annie's the name, huh? Oh, I haven't seen you around here. Uh, how should I rebuild your house? We need a second floor. We stored things there. We have so many things we need something. Uh, how should I rebuild the village? Let's see. I'd like a high place where the view is good and where it's breezy. Okay. I mean, that seems fine then. I heard a rumor that Killer Snake was killed. Is that true? What does that mean? I heard that in the deep end of Wise Owl Forest, there's a great old hermit of the forest. I wonder what he's like. Uh, once was a great hunter called Fudo, a very strong hunter. He was called the Hunter of Legend, but five years ago, he suddenly disappeared. That was a tremendous loss for us. Um, do you know that Fudo had a son? He's a good-natured boy, just like Fudo. But ever since Fudo left, he stopped talking to everybody, poor thing. I'm telling this only to you. There's a big tree switch in the forest, and you press this to open the door. But it's so big that just pressing it won't do. I'm trying to open it myself. Okay. Um... 
Now that really helped me out, but whatever. We can put one more thing down in your house. I thought you were just gonna... <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Um... Why is our entrance? No. Okay. So I guess we don't have whatever for the second floor. To add on top, because it's not the roof. It's not the wise out entrance, although it does kind of look like it. Okay. I think that's all we can really do until we do another floor. Oh, shit. But I'm curious what this is. Oh. Oh, there's a whole... There's a whole thing here. Okay. Wait, were we supposed to have him this entire time and I just never came in here? What? Who the... You? You must be with that monster that ruined the village. I know I'm right. Yo, calm down. Can't lie to me. That face here is a villain's face. Get ready. The hurt's coming. Oh, God. Okay. It's a boss fight. Didn't expect this to be a boss fight. That was a very short boss fight. Um... Is he chill now, though? Is he still trying to fight us? Or did he just piss himself? Bro, there was literally sparkling yellow shit underneath of him. Like, right under his crotch. <laughs> Say, you're kind of strong. It's still there. Okay, maybe he dropped something. I still, like, it should have waited to show that, man. <laughs> Look, I'm not out by a long shot. My stomach's killing me. Just wait till I'm better. See you then. Okay. And hey, I'm only saying this once, so you better listen. My name is Goro. <laughs> Goro? Guru. Uh, Goro. That's that's fine. Whatever. Except your name can be whatever you want it to be, my guy. It's your name. You get a pick. Amazing, that. We might end up going to nine anyways. What is on the floor, though? Don't touch that. Oh, that's gross. Wash your hands. Hunter's earrings. Does that mean we get him as a party member? We're gonna let you understand language of the forest people? Uh, how do I... How do I wear it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Thanks for, like... I'm glad to have it, I guess. I just... I literally have no idea how to use it though. I think I'll save the gourd for the next dude whenever we unlock him. Presumably the the dude we were just fighting. Can't take the axe? That looks like it would be a perfectly fine weapon. I'm just sitting there, it's sharp, like even if it's not sharp, blunt force, man. Get the job done. I lost my hunter's earrings. Have you seen them? You can understand the forest fairies when you wear them. I use them talk to Treant. You don't really need to, though. I've already mastered the language. I wonder if Treant is still all dried up. If you want to see Treant, check it out at the huge hold, even the village. Uh, yeah, I've been there. He's still all dried up. I'm trying to deal with him. But it's going to take a bit of time. Ooh, more fruit of Eden. Again, though, I wonder if we should save that for a bit. It's like... Oh, another pocket, too. I can't even see these things on the ground. I'm just randomly walking around and clicking. Uh, nah, it's fine. I'm gonna give the fruit of Eden to our main dude again. Also gonna grab that pocket, because, like, more carry, more better. Okay, so we're up to 120. That's not bad. Uh, but the gourd I will save. Her, again, I'm going to get her up to 80 at least, because even numbers. But I feel like she doesn't need it as much. And since we can't do anything with him right now, I guess that's, uh... I guess that's kind of it then, man. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys for coming and hanging out while we played a little bit more Dark Cloud. I do appreciate y'all. I'm really, really hoping to get back into, like, the normal swing of things. Like I mentioned on Discord, we might be skipping Morrowind for a little while while I try to figure out some way 
to not be so freaking exhausted all the time. Um, but we'll work on that. I'm still going to try to do all the other streams as normal, though. Last night is just, excuse me, an accident. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow night I'll be playing Baldur's Gate 2 with my brother. And I'll be spending the rest of my time for the next few days just playing a bunch of Fun Fantasy 7. So <laughs> have a good night, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Be kind to each other. I'll see y'all next time. Bye! <laughs>